There's a lot of things I won't die to in this world. I won't die to no goddamn crabs. I won't die from getting hit by a bicycle. <laughs> he said hit by a bicycle. I will not die from that. That's so random. I won't die from no goddamn bees. Like, I don't know. I can't die nah, from no bees. bees. Bees is OP, though. Nah, what if there's like a million? If you can you can run away, like just swipe them off, duck and roll. Isn't that the shit? That Bro, shit? they said that people have ran in water and, and have st- waited for them. What type of shit is like that? Like above water. What t- they was waiting for. They will wait for me if I jump in the water. Like yes, if I jump bro. in my pool, they will wait for you. you bro, I know. Take- I know. Mad people be dying in freaking like Africa and stuff, bro. Oh yeah, I know. But the, yeah, but them the killer got, bees be oh. killing for real. <laughs> they be killing for real. Killer bees be killing for real. <laughs> Yo, 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 welcome back to another episode of No Rex Podcast, episode number 82. I'm your host, DWK Darius. Got my co-host with me, Ish. It was good to the fellas. Yeah, yeah. Thank you again for tuning in to another episode, my brother. Follow all the socials, subscribe, all that good stuff. Shout out to y'all, 415,000 followers on TikTok. You don't have TikTok, right? No. Nah. So you really, so what you mean? Yeah, I'm <laughs> lacking. I'm not so lie. Like, you know. I be seeing it, though, when you post it, though. Like, That's it. Oh, wait, you see, like, the TikToks, or do you see when I post on Instagram? I see both, bro. Okay. Because you know some of your videos went viral, right? Like, you got, like, almost two million or some shit, bro? Yeah, I actually only found out the other day because <laughs> somebody told me. <laughs> this nigga don't be going, bro. Like, we got four four 415,000 followers now. Uh, 5,000 subscribers on YouTube. Shout out to y'all also. And all the listeners, if you tune in, comment. Uh, what you want them to say, bro? Bro, comment. Uh, get money, got to get it. Oh, that's hard. Yeah. That's hard. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. That's hard. Hold on. That was tough. That's tough, bro. You yeah, got that from sir. one of the artists you be listening to, bro? Yeah, bro. Who? Lonely? It's that heat. Nah. Diora. Diora? Yeah. You and Jordan be finding some new <laughs> underground. Like, y'all, love, y'all really love the underground niggas, bro. Yeah, bro. Like, didn't y'all go to the concert like recently? Yeah, we went to a couple. Um, What's it called? Yeet. How was that one? I know you was, you was, was talking about that shit for a minute. That was that was one of the best ones I've been to. No cap, lucky and uh yeah, destroy lonely. That's tough. He so were they in like little big venues or they was in like small ones? Um, lucky and Yeet were at the same venue in New York. Uh, destroy lonely was at some other shit. Oh, where? Oh, that's not yeah, bad. Yeah, so it was lit though. They was all in New York though. Mm-hmm. Mm, bro, I want to go to. I, I think I told you before. Like me and Jay want to go to a freaking comedy comedy show. Like one of those comedy niggas yeah, I be seeing, bro. Like either Drewski or some nigga that be going was, on tour, bro. I wanted to see Drewski, bro. Yeah. That shit be hilarious, my nigga. Yeah, nah, for when real. When that nigga rolled his ankle, my nigga, did you see that <laughs> shit and bust his ass? Yeah, like that. Nah, I would see. I would see him. I was. I was. There's a. There's a nigga that be on. He used to be on uh, Wild and Out. He's one of those white guys. He's low key. He be going to like little small venues, but he's low key type funny. Word. Like he be making nah. He be bugging. He be making fun of, like the deaf niggas and shit. <laughs> like he be bugging the deaf niggas. Like that's why I need, I need to do. I need to go to that shit, bro. Like yeah, nah. They're they're really good. They're like, funny. Like the only ones that I think I really went to. I don't know if you was there with us when we went to New York on the train, and like we was mad cold on the train station. We went to the coffee shop and they had like a little uh, comedy show in there. Were you there with us? It was. Nah, I don't think so. You sure? Pro- was, I don't know. It was like it me, sound familiar. me, Chris, Jason, and there was one more person. I don't know if it was you or somebody else. But we walked in. It was like a open mic comedy shit. And the <laughs> nigga, as soon as he walked in, niggas started hiking on us. I'm like, oh nah, your shit must have been ass. <laughs> There's no way. Like we're like your main shit. Niggas started laughing. Niggas like, yo, the whole gang in here. What? How y'all doing, fellas? I'm like, alright, bro. I'm just we just, we just <laughs> nah, cold as shit. Bro. I was not there. That would, that sounds funny though. I ain't gonna lie. Nah, it was. Cause like you know how the train station there's like the little coffee shop right there. Yeah, it was in that shit. Maybe I guess they have like open mic comedy. Mm. I I give it to comedians though. I can't do that shit, bro. Nah, it does take a lot of fucking guts to do yeah, that shit, my nigga. Soul and stuff. Like just imagine, bro. Niggas don't laugh at your jokes. Nah, you're gonna you're go, you're <laughs> always gonna have them group of people that's the, just not not feeling you. But still, though, that's tr- that's, that's terrible. That's, that's terrible. terrible. <laughs> imagine you you took up mad time. You was like, bro, it took me mad long to think of this. Exactly. You go on stage and just crickets. And like, what can you even joke about nowadays? Like, you came like before niggas used to say like all the gay shit and so like, but they still be doing it. But I don't think they do it to like an extent. Like I know there was there'll be niggas that be uh, making fun. Of, like they don't make fun of gay couples, but they'll like say yeah, gay it's shit. definitely not as um you know. How it was before. Yeah, I think, I don't know. 
But shout out to y'all niggas, y'all com- comedians, all that shit. Indeed. I can't do all that shit. But oh, I want to start a podcast. I got something new, bro. We're all gonna take a whip. You ever you ever tried um smelling salts? I tried mm-hmm. a, I tried a lot of shit with you, my brother. Yeah. So we're gonna try this shit together. Jay, you gonna hit one, hit this shit? You gonna rip this shit? What? You ever, Wait, what? You know Wait. what smelling salts are? Nah. Nah, you, you know what these shits are. This shit, uh, I don't I'm, know I'm what actually that very is. scared. I'm, what this, is what is this? You know bro? when niggas be lifting and they be like, and that shit go, they, they go like get raised and get hyped, or get energized. <laughs> or like, or you know when niggas get knocked out and they get like the, the salts and they put them on, they wake up. Yeah. This is what this is, bruh. Oh, nah. We're going to take a rip right before the pie starts. I'm very, oh, what is this? Oh, yeah, right. oh, oh, all right. <laughs> what is that shit, bro? They got me scared, bro. Right, I'm, you... <laughs> it's not that. Whew. It's not that bad. It's not as bad as it seems. I'm not gonna lie. Whoo. What do I do, you bro? Just, you just gotta sniff it, bro. Like just a, like a like, inhale. Like, you just gotta sniff it, bro. Oh nah. <laughs> <laughs> dude, oh nah. Dude, this is not that, that shit, strong though. Yeah, like, that shit smell like. That shit smell like. It smells good just, though. That shit smell, Ooh, that shit that opened my eyes like, though. That shit smell like Sharpie. <laughs> and now looky, that does smell like Sharpie. Hold on. I'm like, oh, did you rip that? Did you like sniff or do you like you want like a? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I took a breath. I took a breath. <laughs> and as soon as it touched touched my atmosphere, atmosphere Yo, my nostrils. Woo, like it's try it, Jay. <laughs> nah, that really is something. You get knocked out. <laughs> Yo, yeah, like, <laughs> but like, I think that I don't know. Re- we mean add water. Oh shit, we didn't even use it correctly? <laughs> oh nah. Oh shit, let me get that shit. We didn't use it correctly? I was about to say I didn't even hit. I didn't even <laughs> Told you. I didn't even feel nothing. Wait, so I gotta put water on it? You have to put with the, the spoon that's in there, pour water in it. And then shake it. You can put some water in this so I don't pour it on my laptop. I'm so they I was about to say, like it, it didn't really hit me that hard. Like I <laughs> Like it didn't hit me crazy. I thought it would be a lot worse. I thought I was gonna like like go into like like uh like the matrix or some shit. But <laughs> he said the matrix. I'm scared. Damn, I thought I hit I thought I'm like immune to this shit. I'm like, <laughs> I didn't even feel it for real. I was looking like What activated with water? Yeah, if I die on this shit, bro, we got felt we got <laughs> Oh shit. Oh my god. What does the water do? And then shake it? <laughs> yo, yo, this is what this podcast has come to, my nigga. This is crazy. We had a dog on it last episode. What the fuck about to happen next, bro? Oh no! Oh no! Nigga scared the fuck out of me. Oh, it's, oh. Nah, nah. What oh. nigga just screamed? <laughs> Yo, people, I'm sorry, yo. Oh, shit. They don't clickbait yo. that shit. Uh. Yo, yo, rip that shit, cut. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Shit better make me. Oh. 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 <laughs> no, I can't. I'm about to cry. Yo. No. Oh, shit. I just, I just opened the lid. Oh, my God. No, I just opened the lid. This is dangerous. <laughs> yo. <laughs> Oh, 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 wait. Yo, my nostrils. Oh, oh. No, 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 no. My sinuses. Oh, my God. Yo, yo, so bad. yo. No, that's like, that's, that's like that's like <laughs> chemical warfare right there. Yo, no, nah, nah. that shit felt like a like. If somebody's passed out, promise you, <laughs> just just give them that. Oh my god, they will come back to life. <laughs> they will Yo, come if a nigga was dead, they could use that shit, bro. Bro, I didn't. I just opened the lid. 
<laughs> and then it hit me like, yo. like some, yo. It didn't even go in. It didn't even go in the other nostril. It, it went, it went this. up this one, and I just died. <laughs> yo, I, yo, I don't know what to do, bro. It <laughs> felt like there was like a. It felt like a shard of crystals went up my nose, bro. <laughs> like a, like a big ass tube went up my nose. Oh, I'm jittery. I need some water. Fuck, bro. Yeah, oh, that was. Yo, if I would have not, if I would have dead ass like took a <laughs> took a big inhale, I probably would have threw up. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm yo, not gonna lie. Yo, that I was... wanted to cough, sneeze, bro. That was do every... so bad. What the fuck, bro? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> yo, nah, that was od. That was bad. I didn't think that was gonna be that. Nah, when we first did it, I thought I was. I thought I was tough. I'm like, damn, this. Shit, I got the booty version, bro. I... Oh, I lied. Even that version, you added the water, it amplified it like <laughs> 10 times, I swear. Yo, that felt crazy. I thought there was this, oh, no, nah, I thought I got possessed, bro. Oh, no, nah, I know how, I know why niggas use that shit, bro. Oh, I feel jittery now, bro. Freaking, I'm drinking water. I don't, yo, you know I'm fasting now, bro. You say you fasting? Like, uh, like I'm doing a reverse Ramadan. <laughs> like, you know how niggas be, uh, they don't eat throughout the day. Mm-hmm. I eat throughout the day, but I don't, like, after, I'll eat from, like, 12 to 8, and then afterwards, I don't really be eating much. No, that's good. Yeah, I try, you know, even water, I don't even be drink drinking water after 8, but now I need water after that shit, bro. I almost fuck, oh, my God. Like, I heard there's a lot of, like, good, um, uh, scientifically proven, like, side of, uh, effects to that shit. Like, I think when you fast, like, that shit, like, cleans your colon out. Definitely, bro. Like I know, you know that nigga Kevin Gates said he fasted for like three weeks, like mm-hmm. no eating, not eating no food or water for three weeks, bro. I didn't think that was possible. Like I thought nah, your body, bro. it is, bro. Really? That shit yeah. must fucking suck. But like, I heard like that shit helps you like, lose weight and shit like that, or like supposedly just like burns like like your muscles, your what's it called? When your organs start using like burning fat and use it as like carbohydrates and shit like that. Yeah. So I guess that makes you skinny. I don't know. I'm just trying to see how it is. Oh man. Oh. I'm still I, how you feeling, bro? You straight now? <laughs> <laughs> that was Yo, crazy. Nah, that was really I, oh, that was that was a good that was a good whiff, bro. Oh, but oh what oh, I want to talk to you about the drill music scene, bro. Since you've been going to all these concerts and shit mm. like that. How you what is your view on drill music as of right now, bro? Like what is it, what is your view towards them? Yeah, bro, it's it's cool, but it definitely is uh in a uh, decline. You think so? Definitely. I I'm not gonna lie, I can't listen to certain niggas. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like uh most of the artists, you know, everybody sounds the same. Everybody sounds. There's only a few that really are actual artists. They're mostly all just drill rappers, you know? That's what I'm saying. I'm like, are y'all, like, trying to make it out the hood? Or are y'all just trying to diss niggas at this point? Because they say the same shit with the same beat. Literally. Literally. Like, I'm tired of, like, singing about these niggas dead, bro. I can't do that shit. I don't care. Like, I can't be talking about these dead niggas. I just mm-hmm. want to listen. I can't even That's listen to that saying. shit. That's what I'm saying. Like, niggas, like, fucking. But it's like, are you? Are they ever going to grow out of that shit? Like, some niggas, like, I feel like K-Flock was the one that could have, like, that actually, like, Moved on from it even quicker than usual than most niggas. Yeah, it's because you gotta, like you said, you can't always diss. Like, yeah, he got famous. Even one of his famous songs is a diss song. Yeah. But we've seen that he could do different types of music, you know, different types of flows. Mm-hmm. He uh, collab with different artists. So That's I'm saying it's really all about being different nowadays. I know. I, I mean, I should. I don't think it would be. I don't, it shouldn't be that hard to be that different, especially with drill music. You could find a different sound. No, nah, yeah, it's really not that hard. You just gotta find different ways to maneuver it, type shit. That's why I feel like these niggas just be. It's not even. But yeah, they, they all just be doing the same shit. They just though. be. They just want this niggas and just talk about all these niggas dying and shit. <laughs> yeah. Like that new. What's that nigga name? Like S dot. Wasn't it S dot go? Yeah. That's a, that's a trash name. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> that name chips. Like, I be hearing niggas like him dissing, they dissing each other's cousins and shit. They gonna kill each other? Like, what the fuck going on with these niggas? I don't know, bro. Yeah, what? it's like everybody... That, and it's it's real easy to get on, too. Like... I know. Like, the it's easy to get a catchy beat. It's easy to freaking diss people. I know. Like, you know like you know who I be watching? Like, I be watching the stream sometimes. That nigga see blue. His nah, streams be having he's, me crying, he's, he's actually bro. funny, though. Like, that's why he's he's funny. Like... I think he's a funny person. Nah, he stream... Be having me crying too. Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm like. That's good for him. Like he's that's what I'm saying. He's outside. at least doing something else, you know. Yeah. Like he's 
streaming all these other rappers just I know like, dissing and still in the streets and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like he's fucking he's uh what's that called? Isn't he like reacting to like all the music videos? That should be happening. They, there was a compilation of him reacting to the music videos, and every time they diss one is dead next, he turns that shit off. Nah, he does. <laughs> yeah, cause cause he be fucking with some of the the ops music and stuff. But mm-hmm. as soon as they start dissing, he's like, nah. See, this is where they started tweaking. Like, are they really like ops, or do they? Are they like? Do you think they really all got beef with each other? Cause I feel like I feel like if push comes to shove, I feel like some niggas got beef, but niggas some niggas just. Hop on with other niggas. Yeah, beef and shit like, like that's that. how it was. Well, you know, with freaking uh, Shy K and all them. You remember they said them and K Flock. They all used to be cool. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like this shit weird now. And then they said Shy K started. He messing with the uh, Eda Baby and them, and then that's and now why. he don't even like them niggas no more, bro. Yeah, now they all. It's just it's weird because like you said, they all they all from the Bronx and stuff, but they all low key like uh. In the same place Like they went to school together Yeah I heard like, There's you? old pictures of them All in like Like some of these niggas the Is related bro and stuff Yeah Like it's weird And it's like It's like I heard that nigga Didi Osama Don't even fuck with his old hood no more So I'm saying It's more The drill scene Is just more drama nowadays I know That's, that's really how everybody's famous mm-hmm. All this drama I know that's low key why I don't even like watching that shit no more. I'm like, yo, how y'all, how your even old best friends don't even no like more. you no more, brother? Like, what the what fuck I'm you saying. do? They said they left that nigga D dot in the hood, bro. <laughs> they, left, they left that nigga in the hood shooting niggas. I don't bro. know the whole situation, but yeah, no, nah, that is crazy too. I don't know, bro. Hey, if we make it out the hood, bro, everybody coming with us, bro. Indeed. Type shit. Indeed. But also, I also want to ask you on the pod. I was gonna ask you in the car, but I was thinking about doing more trips and shit. For the summer, cause we don't got no, cause me and Jay were gonna, cause I'm not gonna lie, for this summer, me and my parents were going to on a cruise, and then me and Jay about to fly somewhere. We don't know yet either. Domin- Dominican Republic, Mexico, maybe Arizona, which I go there, and then I don't know if y'all niggas want to go on a trip again this year. Yeah, you, you have any like suggestions, bro? Shit, bro. Um, I was thinking about doing that little Pocono shit that you did with your parents and shit. Hell yeah! How much? How much was that? <clears throat> um, that shit was probably like, it was probably like a couple hundred. Oh, that's not that bad. But it was lit though, cause what was it? It was like, um, it was like a lake, right? Yeah, but there was like stuff to do. It was like all inclusive type shit. It was like a resort. Yeah, if we can do some shit like that, that'll be nice. But they had crazy. like everything in it, like go karts, a pool, all that shit. That's tough. See, we can do some shit like that. Chris was talking about. Cause Chris don't want to have like a big ass group event again, cause he don't want to plan that shit. He said he wants to just go like a, do like a little small cruise. I'm mm. like, hey, if you can find that, he's like, he's like, we could all like a couple of us could go on the cruise. But if you want to bring other niggas to see how that goes, I'm like, I can ask to see what happens. Yeah, type shit. I mean, I'm always down for whatever. To be honest, it don't really matter with me. Would you Would you go outside the country? Yeah, that's what I really want to do. Like like what? But that's honestly outside the country. Anything outside the country, besides the Caribbean, yeah. anything outside the country is gonna be bread. Besides nah, okay. the Carib, even the Caribbean is bread to go down there. Yeah, like and a, that shit, like a couple hour flight. Bro, a ticket to like DR was like six fifty, bro. That's what I'm saying. I <clears throat> I definitely still want to go like you know far. I would love to go to fucking Europe, Africa, definitely. You would love to go to Europe. Yeah, like you go to like Paris and shit like that. Od, yeah, I would go to all. Really? All the fucking countries, I, no cap. I don't, for me, I feel like Europe is a lot like here, bro. Yeah, definitely. It definitely is, but it's definitely uh, different culture mad different, shit. too, yeah. Bro, I heard niggas in Paris is, like, insane. Like, they really be, like, like robbing niggas, like, pickpocketing niggas. Yeah, and definitely that. They've been going crazy lately, too. Like, you seen the, the protests and stuff? Yeah, I heard about that it's shit. It's because like- they up the age, like, uh, for what's it called? Retirement. Oh, stuff. what's the what's the age now? Do you know? Like, probably, like, 70 or some shit? Yeah, they made something, <coughs> like, crazy or something, like, 65 or 70 or something, and people started tweaking. Really? That's why they're, like, burning all that shit down, Yeah, bro. bro. Damn, bro. See, we can go to Paris. Even, like, yo, I heard, yo, you know about, like, the little catacombs they have under Paris? I want to go to the bro? UK. You want to go to the UK, bro? UK, no cap. <laughs> nah. See, the UK, nah, UK, I feel like it's, like, New York City. Yeah, Definitely. Just but, hella uh, accents and stuff. Like, hella accents, but literally New York. But, like, I feel like I know the UK. L- London is hood, bro. I heard London's mad hood, Oh, definitely. 
Like Definitely. I heard them niggas is really like, like trenches. Like that's no, like definitely. the trenches out there. Yo, I didn't even. It's not even the black niggas. That's that's the hood niggas. It's like the Armenian dudes. Yeah, bro. They like the big stocky niggas with like that's the. What I'm saying. That's scary. Bro. I be you know you be watching all the Netflix shows. And yes, from bro. them over there, nah, bro. That shit crazy, really be true, bro. That's crazy, bro. Them niggas. I seen this. I think there's this one gang out there. It's like a bunch of Armenian niggas. I thought they're like Russian. These niggas all like six four stocky white dudes that look yeah, like yeah, bro. Like you ever watch the Expendables? Mm-hmm. They're like a bunch of those niggas. <laughs> like nah, bro. Like how y'all niggas twenty uh twenty one twenty years old? Y'all niggas like y'all forty. That's what I'm saying. They really born into that stuff. That lifestyle. Yeah. That's sick, bro. I don't know, man. I also want to go like to uh, far away countries like freaking. I be seeing some freaking like I ain't gonna lie like. Thailand be looking very tough. I heard Thailand's pretty good. Like it's very pretty tough. cheap too. That's what I'm saying. It's very, very cheap. Niggas say you can go nice. there. You can go there with like five hundred dollars. You'll be straight for a week, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like Nick, the food be like a dollar. But like, I, see, well, I ain't gonna lie. I've ever since I watched I watched that movie uh, on Netflix. I kind of have a fear. I never had a fear of flying, but flying kind of far. Like wait, like which movie? Far. The um, is it the one where the plane got went missing? Yeah. Really? Well, Dang. they went. They didn't go missing, but they like crashed. They, they crash landed, so they were going from like Singapore to like the U.S. or something. And that's like a thirty something hour flight or something. Yeah, I think it's like nah. It might be like eighteen or something like that. But on eighteen straight, like on a plane. Yeah, I don't know if they had a stop somewhere or something. Oh, layovers and shit. Yeah, yeah but um, bro, they didn't even make it out. They crash landed. On like somewhere, um, what like the islands or some shit, bro? Yeah, it was like a a Asian country, but um, they ain't have no no government. Oh really? So it was Wait. one of them islands. Is that the one with John with the with the black dude? Like he was like a. I think so. Yeah. Oh no, I watched that one in the movie theater. It was like with uh the the pilot when there was like a black prisoner on the thing. Yeah. Yeah, I watched that. Nah, that shit's that was in the Philippines, bro. Yeah, I was about to say I think it was the Philippines, but I didn't want to say it and, and not be that. But bro, that shit could really happen like anytime, any place, bro. bro. You just crash land on the island and then there's no police. They exactly, had them, bro. They had them on there for ransom and stuff. They had to send in fucking the the. Uh, the little mis- uh, mercenaries and shit, yeah, bro. Yeah, people that you hire that's from, like, s- some some hitman activities type stuff. That's what I'm off saying. Off the grid. Bro. That's how the Philippines is, but there's, like, a thousand islands, but, like, there's, like, some islands that's occupied by, like, the rebel groups from, like, that's the whole time. That's what I'm saying, like... They got their own government, their own shit, bro. Like, scary as fuck, my nigga. Like, just imagine, bro. Like, we... Like, that's... Imagine we coming home from a trip, yo. We... Coming home from Thailand, bro. We we crash land somewhere, bro. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I'm like, they damn. got us for rest, so we on the news, bro. And that's what, I'm, and they didn't even think they were still alive, but they didn't know where the fuck they was at because that's what it was I'm mad saying. islands. They couldn't there even find so them. So many, nah, bro. And like, if it wasn't for that one dude, like going into the town and like calling motherfuckers, they would never. That's what I'm found. saying. I'm if he lie. didn't even. So does that mean like we would have to go search for shit, or we could like, are we like, what would you, what would we do? Would we stay put? And wait, or do we have to like go into the jungle and find shit, bro? Because think about it, if we if they would have stayed put, they would have been there for they probably would all died. That's what I'm saying. Somebody, it's not like I don't think all of us should go, but you know, a couple people that like, yeah, go somebody scout. gotta go look for something else. Mm. Would you stay go put? Low key, you would low go? key. I, I think, think I, would. I would go because, like I said, crash landing. Somebody's gonna hear that crash, and somebody's gonna go check it out. Mm-hmm. The militia people, and that's what they ended up doing. As soon as they crashed, mm-hmm. they was on them in like a couple minutes. Exactly, but like, would you rather have it be like, like militia like that, or just like a random like uncharted island, like a random like? Um, because now think about it. Now we got to we got no way. Nobody's ever going. That might be a little longer than like if there's like, like a rebel group trying to. With no government trying to kill everybody. That might be a little longer. Because now, like, what the fuck we going to do? We're going to have to survive and shit. Mm. And, like, yo, you know what I heard, bro? Like, I heard, like, one of the most, like, dangerous animals, like, in, like, islands and shit is, like, the little, uh, what are those giant crabs called? Is it, It's not snow crabs. It's the motherfucking um, coconut crabs, bro. Mm. I heard them shit is, like, really, like, dangerous. Like, them niggas really be eating people. 
For real? Yeah, bro. Like, you know you know the shit with Amelia Earhart, bro? Like, uh-huh. So, like, they said that Amelia Earhart, like, the whole story is that she crash landed or they said she got picked up by, like, the Bermuda Triangle or some shit like that and she mm-hmm. don't know where she went. But, like, supposedly she was flying over, like, through the Caribbean and she crashed. La- she was supposed to go to an island, but supposedly she crash landed on another island and, like, her co-pilot died, but she was still alive, but she was, like, bleeding out and shit. And, like, when it became nighttime, the coconut crabs came out. And I heard coconut crabs don't only just, they eat fish, but they also eat, like, birds themselves. And they eat, like, like they smell blood and eat people. So, Yo. I guess they smelled her. And there was, like, there's a bu- like there's a lot of them. And they just get, like, three feet long, like, huge. And I get, they said she she got eaten by, like, snow crabs and or uh, coconut crabs and shit, bro. Oh, no. Nah, like, just imagine lie. that type of. Wait, where do they be at? They be, I think they be in, like, the Caribbean. But oh, like, yeah, because I ain't going to lie. My dad, a couple years ago. Forgot he said he went to the DR or something like that. Mm-hmm. Nigga said he went outside. He seen some big ass crabs. Walking yeah, around. bro, like them shits is huge. And he bro. was like low key scared to go outside. Like He's they like, really nah. be they they really be like the their hands is like as big as like human hands. So like they was like imagine they, they're fucking the and they already got some freaking strong freaking yes, claws. bro. So imagine a three foot crab. <laughs> nah. Imagine being eaten by three foot crab, bro. <laughs> And people didn't think it was her because they found bones there. You gotta, you gotta blick them things, bro. I ain't gonna but what if you injured my nigga? Like, what you gonna do? <laughs> like, you just, you just, you hella, can't even run. Hella Mr. Krabs just hella getting Mr. Krabs just eating you, bro. Nah, that shit was crazy. And like, they didn't think it was her because they found bones there. But like, they looked through like the rubbish, the rubble and shit like that, mm-hmm. and they found like a, uh, she had freckles, and they found like freckle cream, mm. and like they tested her bones out again, and it actually supposedly was her, bro. So this bitch flew over the Caribbean. Uh, eaten by crabs is crazy. Supposedly got eaten by crabs. I don't know. <laughs> That's crazy, though. That's a terrible way to die. That's one of the worst ways to fucking die, bro. Just imagine. Just that sounds like some movie, some movie death. A mo- I know, right? That's a. <laughs> That's like a, like a funny movie death. Just imagine. Nah, bro. I'm going out swinging. Ain't no way I'm dying to some crabs. There's a lot of things I won't die to in this world. I won't die to no goddamn crabs. I won't die from getting hit by a bicycle. He <laughs> said hit by a bicycle. I will not die from that. That's so random. I won't die from no goddamn bees. Like, <laughs> hit, I don't know. I can't die nah, from no bees. Nah, bees is OP, though. What nah, if there's, like, a million? Nah, I can't die to them niggas, bro. I got to find a way out, bro. A this, million bees? I'm not nah, allergic. That's OD. If I was allergic to bees, then I'm like, all right. But I'm not allergic to bees. Like, I could run away. Like, bro, this, what you mean? What if, like, a million of them just swarm you? If You can you can run away. Like, just swipe them off. Duck and roll. Isn't that the shit? Yeah, bro. Stop, duck, and roll? Or is that with fires? <laughs> a million bees. You can survive bro, that, bro. They be chasing people, bro. Just keep going. They're not going to like a. They're not gonna go a certain... Keep going, but they got to protect the fucking queen bro, and shit. they said that people have ran in water and, and have st- waited for them. What type of shit is like that? Like above water. What t- they was waiting for... They will wait for me if I jump in the water? Yes, like if I jump bro. in my pool? They will wait for you. So they just want to die. Like <laughs> they, they wait to get they lick back, bro. Nah, I, think it's I know just, you oh. see mad videos of like a hornet attack, like okay, one well, bee, and then all of them. Oh just yeah, yeah, get yeah. That okay, yeah. Get. Okay, I did see that. See, damn, <laughs> I can't die to them niggas though. All them stings. How many stings bro, you think? I know, take? I know. Mad people be dying in freaking like. Africa and stuff, bro. Oh yeah, I know, but the, yeah, but them killer niggas got bees my, be oh. killing for real. <laughs> they be killing for real. Killer <laughs> bees be killing for real. All right, but like, all right, because they do be having them good resources. That honey be honeying. That honey be honeying. <laughs> Type shit. How many? How many things you think it'll take to kill you? For Bruh, real? it's gonna be like a bunch, but like, just think about the pain. Like you, you can't do anything. You're running, yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> you're still getting stung unless you run into like. Like a waterfall of like falling <laughs> water, falling not water, help. not not like a a pool or something. Like I said, they will wait for you if they're that angry. That's some if bullshit. That what type of shit? Or they... if you run into like a pit of fire, but nobody's doing that. <laughs> they what will type wait of for shit? you. Nah, that's so crazy, bro. Hold on, let me see how many people die from bees a year, bro. <laughs> Yo, how many? Cause it definitely got to be up there, bro. Because you know what's the leading animal of like deaths? It's like mosquitoes. Oh yeah, I mean they're cheese. Yeah, they freaking carry diseases. It says with an estimated two hundred twenty-two thousand annual visit to the emergency department and nearly sixty deaths. Okay, sixty. I can't be one of those sixty niggas. <laughs> I can't be one of those sixty niggas. Sixty niggas out of a out of a world of eight billion. And this exactly. <laughs> come on, unless I'm allergic. Okay, then I'm dead. 
I'm good. I'll, I'll die like that. That's uh, a, that's crazy though. Like alle- like some people's allergies. No offense. Now nah, you know what's you know what's a big fear, bro. <laughs> what my biggest fear? Because you know how they got all them. Um, like in the Midwest, they got all them fields and stuff. My yeah. biggest fear is to like, I was in one of them states one day and like, I get caught in like, a giant storm of like locusts or something. Really? Them locust storms, like, bro. I, I be seeing them in movies. That shit looks terrifying. That's it's, there's like over like a billion bugs. That's like, real. I'm not gonna lie. I thought yeah, that was bro, fake. That shit, that shit actually real. happens. Yes, bro. What? Just the? hella fucking. What do you do? Like <laughs> that's you a do t- nothing. You stay in the crib. That's why, you know, you'd be seeing them farmers. That's why they be having like the pesticides. pesticides. Oh, they have nah. all these equipments, cause bruh. Nah, that's sick. Aren't locusts pretty big too? Like they're yeah, like, bro, tight, like, like this big, big ass grasshopper shits that fly, bro. Nah, that's crazy. And what they just eat the they crops? Eat, yeah, they eat basically everything. All the vegetables, all the fucking. Fruit. Nah, that's crazy, bro. Yeah. Nah, that's type scary, bro. I ain't gonna lie, a locust. That's what I'm saying. A, a locust storm. You just bro? see freaking a bro. wall of bugs. Yeah, you think it's like freaking the weather or something? Nah, bro. Straight that's a, bugs. That's disgusting. See, scary. Yeah. See, I might die to that. <laughs> I might die to that. Like you know, a couple. But they not even. That's the thing. They're not even doing nothing towards you. They're just like flying. They're like coming through the area type shit. But it's just like. So many of them, it's just scary. <laughs> like, but you go, you think you can low key suffocate if you're like in, in the middle of that? There's definitely no oxygen in that shit. There's just straight locust. You're breathing in bugs. Yeah, that's what I'm oh, saying. I don't no. know. Yeah, I, I might, don't know. See, I might die to that. I might die. Like, to just that. imagine you got one of them farmhouses, right? And you just see a big locust. cloud just coming in, and you hear just hell buzzing from a, the, the, the distance and stuff. You're like, see, now nah, that's when. That's when uh, I don't even know. I'm shooting them niggas, bro. <laughs> I'm shooting them niggas with my gun, bro. That's what I'm saying. You just need mad fire. Do you think that would work, bro? You Still not. There's like a burn there's, your house there's, down. There's, there's a there's like the amount that there be. No, nah, it's just too many. There's too many. Like where do they come from? Do they just like do they just like what the fuck? Like That's do what they I'm just? Appear? I don't even know how it how they be starting and stuff. Like I don't know where the fuck they come from. That's what I'm saying. Like, does that shit just like appear, or like, do they just like decide like, you know, today's the day we're all gonna fly in a pack and find some food? <laughs> like, like what the fuck? Like, what happened? Like, how does that even work? Hey, bro, thank God I don't live over there. Yeah, because... like in like Kansas or some shit. Bro. Yeah. Or, like Mississippi, like didn't Mississippi have like a bunch of tornadoes recently, like three? And like there was like one tor- it was like a big tornado, and that shit split into two and start going in different directions. Yeah. You seen that shit, bro? Just imagine, you see one tornado. That should split off. That should oh, start no. going in different directions like it's multiplying. What type of cheese is that, my nigga? Oh. Thankfully, the weather don't be too, too crazy. That's why I'm glad we live here. Right. That's what I'm saying. All we get is what? All We're, the things you got to worry about are hurricanes. And it, it's like, it'd be annual. It'd be like, not yeah. even annual. Like every like four years probably. It'd be something big. Type shit. So it wouldn't be that bad, bro. But uh, what else? I, oh, I got another question, right? So if someone offered you a hundred million dollars, but you had to survive, you had to survive being homeless in a third world country for three years. Would you do it? Dang, third world country. Yeah, you're not years. in America, brother. <laughs> you're in a third world country. That's rough. I ain't gonna lie. Three yeah. years. Three years, but you get a hundred million dollars afterwards. That's all you gotta do. <clears throat> I think I can do it, but mm. that might be like. Like you might be pushing that might it. be one of the hardest tasks ever. That's what I'm saying. I feel like that might be equivalent. <gasps> uh, I feel like that might be equivalent. Because that shit might be worse than jail, bro. It is because you don't. You don't, there's no. Cause at least in jail, they they giving you stuff. They give you food. They, they give you giving shelter. You stuff. And th- see, in third world country, you might not even find. You might not eat. The for like police days, bro. don't. The police don't even care about homeless people over here. Exactly. They definitely don't care about. In like Mexico people. or some shit. Oh yeah, nah. And those niggas be like extra, extra skinny, bro. Like they and be definitely <clears throat> they. Oh yeah, all the cartels and mafias and gangs around the world. That's they what I'm definitely saying. They de- I might hate g- the homeless people too. They might be. They might, some niggas might pick me up, like kidnap me, like. Oh yeah, I know they bed. they be doing <clears throat> mad stuff, especially to like freaking women and stuff. If there's a lot of homeless women, you know they freaking. Yeah, they like kidnap them and shit. But like, what would your plan be? Like, would you try to find like a like a populated city? I would definitely <clears throat> stay in the most populated city, 
Like if I'm in Mexico, I'll try. I'll try. But like, imagine you're like, because Mexico's big as fuck. Nah, it's huge. Like if huge. you, that's a that's a dangerous trip. Because imagine you start walking and like you get caught in like the desert or some shit. Yeah. Now you're like, done. <laughs> you don't even got the resources for that shit. Yeah, I would definitely be in a. Um, you try to be in like a populated city. Definitely. Would you be like those niggas that hold doors for niggas, or are you just gonna beg, like on the like on the streets and shit? Honestly, I'll probably just. I probably do a little bit of both to be honest, because I feel like just get something. Yeah, and I feel like even if you be one of the people that hold the door, you always talking to somebody. Yeah, and meeting people and stuff. Yeah, I get what you mean. And like, I don't even think in third world countries they got homeless shelters. Definitely not. Cause like, at least here we got like you got you got to make it because because some of the countries already be poor by themselves exactly so they definitely don't have no they barely have a government like i feel like if we in mexico we cool it's not as bad as like if we go like, but if we go to like like a country say like um like uh argentina or some shit like that or like no. bulgaria or something i was little, thinking about like like brazil, Af- like, oh, no. brazil oh my brazil i'm not gonna lie we might die brazil we might be die. crazy we might die unless this we might die because the, the, the yo i heard brazil is bad Nah, very bad. Like, you ever heard of the favelas, whatever that shit yeah. called, bro? Yeah. I heard that's like the trenches, trenches, bro. Nah, super. Like, in like the, it's like in the hills and shit. Everybody got guns in that motherfucker. There's like no police. I remember, I only remember that because one of the freaking the Fast old, Five movies? old uh, Call of Duties. Oh, it was in the favelas, bro? The, that was a map. It was oh, really? called the favelas. Oh, it was yeah, literally yeah, 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 yeah. that shit, bro. It was literally the hood of freaking Brazil, mad freaking. That should make the Brooklyn look like a little kids play. Look like uh, Westfield. That should make bro. it look like yeah, like shit sweet. Like even the kids got guns over there, bro. Nah, uh, for real. Like I know one of my one of my dad's friends. He's the coach at NJCU. He he played at Siena, and then he uh he played overseas in Brazil. Mm-hmm. And like he was like a star down there. He had his own TV show and shit like that. So, but he used to hang out with the in the favelas because that's where he found and met his wife. And mm. I remember my boss is his, um, his uh, what's the, what's the uh, brother in law? So mm. they so they all went to took a trip to Brazil, went to the favelas. He said, "Bro, this dude, think about it, this dude's six seven. These yeah. guys a bunch of little little uh, Brazilian Portuguese guys yeah. with guns, not even fearing this nigga, bro. This nigga six seven, three hundred pounds, bro. And they look at him like, yo, he was scared." Just That's running, what I'm the, everybody got guns in that shit, bro. And they got like they have like little like um. Like little uh tunnels and shit like that, and like little yeah, passageways, bro. motherfuckers use to like escape and shit. I'm like, no, even the cops don't even go over there, bro, because they know they go fucking die, bro. That's like, what I'm saying. Even some places the police don't go to, bro. Nah, bro. But I think I think you know if, too freaking uh Jamaica. Jamaica's pretty bad. Jamaica's terrible. Jamaica's bro. pretty bad. Some parts of Jamaica, Jamaica is really is in the struggle. I was bro. watching. I was watching a documentary oh, on like Kingston and stuff. Oh Man. yeah, yeah, yeah. Kingston's bad. Just run bro. by freaking Jamaican freaking militia and yeah, stuff. Literally, yeah. bro. Ja- they said even the police don't be doing nothing because they they mm-hmm. running stuff down there. Even in Puerto Rico, I remember we went to Puerto Rico. There's this definitely. one place. Every part of the Caribbean, definitely. They they got their own hood, bro. But every but for a hundred million, I think I could do it. It's gonna be really hard. Like I really yeah, I'm I'm not gonna get. I'm not even gonna get into no drama, no no situation that could harm my life. I'm a they start shooting, bro. I guess um, that's I'm not staying in that neighborhood today. I'm going to the <laughs> next town. Dead ass. That's what I'm saying, dead bro. Ass. If I hear any trouble, I'm just gonna take my shit, take my little sit knapsack, whatever the fuck I got. I'm because you gotta think bro. about it too. Even these situations with like the gang or the mafia and the cartels, like, bro. Like, yeah, a lot of innocent people do be getting caught in the crossfire, but. Mm-hmm. Think about it, bro. Shit be going on in the streets. And that's where the homeless people live, bro. That's so what I'm saying, the Homeless bro. people be caught in the crossfire <laughs> regardless. <laughs> even if they got nothing to do with it, bro. They basically, you in they home, bro. That's what I'm you saying. You in they home. That niggas doing shootouts in my fucking living room and shit. Like, that's what I'm fu- saying. Down my street and shit. And I'm, I'm supposed trying to, to sleep. I'm trying to enjoy. That happens. I'm just like, hey, bro. I guess I got to find a new place to sleep. <laughs> that's it. I might try to convince some nigga. Like, I'm about to get hella bread if you help me survive for three week, three years. I might have somebody on my Honestly, side. Honestly, like low key nigga. might be a freaking. I don't know if it's a smart choice. Might join them niggas. You gonna bro. join the gang? <laughs> I join niggas for like two years and be like, hey, bro, some nigga off the streets. But I put in that work, and then after 
might disappear. Type shit. But you got to do it early, though. You can't do it yeah. when you look too much of a bum. Yeah. They're not going to want They're going to be like, what yeah. the fuck? That's but like, a fact. Damn, but what if they have... They're, they're going to make you do all the hits, though. Because you homeless. They don't give a... They, they're going to make you do all, like, the, the drive-bys and shit. Damn, hopefully not. Hopefully they just... Have me sell drugs. Make me run errands. Be like, yo, <laughs> go to the store, bro. I'm be like, all right, bet. <laughs> give, me, give me some uh, bread. That's bro. it. Oh, my God, bro. But doing hits. Oh, hey, nah, bro. I'm going to try, bro. I'm going to try, though. But if I'm homeless, I think a place, like, if I'm permanently homeless and I'm trying to get, I would think the place I want to go is Las Vegas. You want to know why, bro? You know there's underground cities in Las Vegas? Mm, underground cities. There's an underground, like, so, like, in Las Vegas, like, on the strip, there's, like, there's, like, flood tunnels under there. Mm-hmm. And there's, like, it's, like, two, I think it's, like, couple, like, either 10, 20, 30 miles, 50 miles of tunnels underneath Damn. the strip. So, that's where all the homeless people live. Ooh. But it's, like, the outside people are not allowed down there. So, like, if you go down there, you might get killed, like, for real. Really? Yeah, like, it's, like, and it's dark. Like, I mean, it's so, like, popular. There's at least, like, maybe five to 600 people living down there, homeless people. Like, they, they supposedly said that they have their own, like, like, they said there's a king down there. Like, there's one guy that runs the whole shit. Like, everybody knows everybody. Some of the people down there never seen light before. Like, ever seen light. They never leave. Like, well, they said the they gov- have. Do the government know about this? They do, but it's, like, they're homeless. Like, what, like, they, they literally got, they're not, they're harmless. But like there could be a real like light real I'm life saying. serial killer what down there. Like they got a cult down there or some shit. That's what I'm saying though. <laughs> Low key, I think I think a couple of cults be like having their meetings down there and shit, like the little satanic shits. Nah, that's crazy. So if I was just to go down there, they'd be like, fuck is this guy coming down here? Like He's if you don't look ass. like you homeless and yeah. there's they said supposedly like it's so dark down there, if you keep going that if you go to a certain place, there's actually like their own language. Like it's a whole different language. Like oh, you'll no. go in there, you'll think you're like it's like they're really like they that really is like something I would people. like to see though. Yo, low I might key. have to dress up. Yo, <laughs> <laughs> low key. Might have to beat myself up. Yo, we gonna take scratch some my clothes, bro? scratch my clothes, look crazy. Nah, that's a good adventure though. But I'll be scared as fuck because niggas really be just shanking niggas. Like imagine all the homeless niggas. Oh, I know. Like yeah, we gotta you. we gotta go. Nah, that's what I'm saying. We gotta go like. Ten niggas deep, so it looked nah, like we yeah. just we just became homeless. We like, <laughs> hey, bro, we heard about this place. <laughs> like, yo, bro, I, lost, I just lost all my bread in the casino, bro. Y'all gonna y'all gonna take me in, bro? <laughs> or some hangover type? Yeah, shit. bro. Nah, bro. I'm like, yo, come on, bro. I'm, I'm we family now, bro. <laughs> Teach me the language. Akabaka do whatever the fuck <laughs> they say him down there, bro. Hell no, bro. But yo, that's a good adventure though. Nah, that's crazy. I didn't know that though. Yeah, that's just crazy. Like all in the tunnels, bro. And even that does sound so like something that could be though. Exactly, like I remember they they do a lot of doc like and a lot of niggas like on like Netflix shows and like documentaries they'll they'll go down there but like the homeless people are like yo you gotta be careful like That's they what I'm they saying. bring cameras and shit down there oh, but nah. not the big ones like you know a little tripod shit I need to see that I think if you can look it up on YouTube they have a couple people like going down there and shit oh yeah That's like, crazy like they have mattresses like imagine I think a lot of people have like families down there. So, like, imagine you born into, like, being homeless and you never see the light of day. Like, you don't know what the outside is. Bro, um, if I feel like I'm about to lose all my bread, I'm taking a flight there. Taking <laughs> a flight to Las Vegas? Taking a flight there, You're going to use your yo, last amount of dollars? <laughs> yo, where is this underground city at, Because y'all just gained a, a customer, <laughs> you, you gained a new citizen and shit? Basically. <laughs> Need like, my passport for that shit. Nah, bro. That would be a good place to adventure. We haven't done an adventure in a while, bro. Indeed. Have y'all, you and Jordan been going to adventures lately, bro? Nah, bro. Just actually, I ain't gonna lie. Last summer we was going, we was going stupid. We was going to I know, y'all niggas going we to, going to a bunch shit. of trails, bro, bro. I think I told you about this one trail we went to. Shit was called the Buttermilk Falls. Yeah, yeah. I think you told me about Jordan that. Jordan knows bro. about that shit. My boy Lotus, bro. Y'all need to bring me, bro. Bro, that shit was like. First of all, it was like a two hour drive. She Where like, I remember you told is that South Jersey? Where the it's fuck? like west. It's like that's not even it's Jersey. It's like northwest. Oh, northwest. It's like okay, about okay. to be Pennsylvania type shit. Okay, bro. okay, okay. But yo, it was just, bro. It was so sketchy because like I found it on Google and stuff. Mm. You know, I got high ratings, got the address and all that shit, bro. But like, I ain't gonna lie. So it's like a two hour drive, right? Yeah. But, so the first hour is like straight cool, straight highway and stuff, and then like the first. The hour after that, just backwoods gets mass, mass sketchy. Like there's, 
this highways you take and it's like I never seen this before. It's like some backwoods ass highway. There's only like three or four cars. It's a highway. That's, yeah, but it looks like the but countryside. Then, yeah. Okay. So okay. that's like, so I'm saying. It felt like we was in PA and stuff. Yeah. And then, like right before the entrance to like it's like a waterfall and stuff. But there's a trail. Yeah. Bruh, like it was like the last twenty minutes probably of the drive, bruh. Mm-hmm. Just to drive into this shit, it was like a two miles like just down this one road bro i'm talking about some like this one narrow ass road mad trees on both sides like hanging over like no no houses no nothing i'm like bro this looks like this looks like that freaking like like this is about to be like a scary movie scene it's like, like just a, one car just cabin us in the woods type yeah shit? like nah, bro. it looks like that movie like we was about to be on wrong turn or something nah. i'm like bro we're driving it's like 10 minutes in i'm like bro it's straight road i'm like bro and there's no did, did we just drive all the way over here i'm like i just took us to this thing two hour drive there's no way how the fuck the gps still work while y'all in there bro because i guess the map already loaded and stuff yeah type shit bro mm-hmm. so I'm like, bro, we're like 10 minutes driving slow too. 10 minutes driving at like 10 miles an hour going through this skinny road. And there was this time we had to go over this little sketchy ass bridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little sketchy bridge, bro. Only could feel like one car went over that shit. I'm like, bro, maybe we should turn back, bro. We're not seeing no progress. I'm like, bro, maybe we should turn back. And then we like zoomed out of the map. We seen like there was some water over there. So I'm like... Bro, I think we should turn back. <laughs> we were just driving into nothing, my nigga. Like yeah. I told you, it was just endless. That's what it felt like. And it was only been like 10 minutes. So then we drove like another 10 minutes. And that shit opened up to like a big ass fucking like mount- mountain and waterfall and shit. That's and there was a trail. Tough, and yeah, it was lit at the end of the day. See, I, see this summer we got to go on some adventures. Somebody on from... Our Instagram DM me because he he likes they like you know they they hear a lot of stories we tell. They said I think he lives, I can't remember it's somewhere in South Jersey in the forest. They found like an abandoned like like asylum <laughs> like a insane asylum. They said him and his friends like like went through there and investigated that shit. He said that shit might be haunted. I said. I'm like, you know what? Is that is that the type of vibes we on? Like haunted shit? Yeah. Like, is, that the, is that is that what? Because cause we've been we went through the forest and shit like that. We did the rando nodding and shit like that. We went through the forest. We we went to the the waterfalls and we got kicked out. Had to run away from the cops. Ah, uh, yeah. But I, we ain't never been in no no haunted shit, my nigga. Like just imagine we see a ghost. Bro, that's a fact, bro. That sound lit though. I ain't gonna lie. And my boy freaking. Lotus put me on another freaking uh trail, bro. It's low key in like the Watch on Reservation. If you look it up, bro, it's called a deserted, deserted village or some shit, bro. And wait, said, in like mountainside? Yeah, bro. Wait, it's, it's an actual like you just walk. Wait, what was it? Like, what do you like? Find? People be it's like near. It's like a part of. I think it's a part of the Watch on Reservation or some shit. Yeah. Like, but you could go over there. It's like a trail. People be walking through. It's just like a bunch of. Like abandoned old houses from like, not gonna lie, like the eighteen hundreds or some shit. Yeah, you could you go back there and, and they look they look old as fuck. Really? Shit. Yeah. We might have to do and that. There's shit. like a, a a cemetery back there. I didn't go back there by a cemetery. I was scared. Wait, do you went but, there though? But yeah, bro. Oh nah, I might, we might. We to, gotta go. We might have to do that this summer. That might be have to be the warm up if we're going to that one. That little, <laughs> I, I ain't gonna lie. Bro, that saying asylum shit. Nah, that that sounds me. that sounds OD. I'm not gonna. That's what I'm saying. If I see some crazy shit, bro, like if I hear some crazy shit, I'm we gotta dip. So closest exit, we second floor, whatever. I ain't gonna lie. I definitely, I think my dad has one, but I definitely want to invest in stuff like that. I need that GoPro, bro. Oh I'm no, I, putting yeah. that shit right on my chest. <laughs> yeah. I start running. You gonna see that that Yo. uh, first person view, bro? <laughs> I'll be running for because I'm not, I don't wanna. <laughs> do that with my phone and stuff now i drop my phone that's what i'm saying need that gopro put that shit on my head or yeah. my chest nah that would be it's crazy up. we might it's we up. might hey if y'all want us to let us know in the comments if you want that for the new we Reckless all podcast. need gopros I look, everybody's, I got GoPro, everybody's point of view that would be crazy bro now nah, we, we'll see we'll see how it goes i gotta look at his dms like i gotta look through i forgot what the dude's name is though but oh and then bro did you hear you know about the catacombs in freaking paris bro yeah. Bro, I heard them shit. I didn't think it was that bad, though. Like, you know, like, you know the whole story about it and shit like that. It's like 200 miles of, like, Yeah, just tunnels. mad tunnels and... And there's, like, 6 million bodies down there, bro? Yeah, I heard there's, like, 
It's like a graveyard. The whole thing is a graveyard. Yeah, basically. and I heard like I heard like it's open to the public, but there's like different er- there's certain places that people like niggas like us will go they'll go down and like sneak off into like um it's like uh, Yeah, I know there's some places you can they don't yeah, be but, trying to let niggas to go to. But it's like these niggas gotta crawl through tunnels and shit. Oh no, nah, and supposedly like niggas see like that shit's like ha- it's like haunted over there on that side. There's like they see demons and shit. Niggas be having like the satanic cult shits down there, like they be having in the movies. Oh no. Nah. And like I heard that like somebody found like a video camera, like you know, a little cassette video camera, and they played the video and they fi- the guy was just like panting around, just walking, and he was hearing voices and he started following the voices. And then he started like panicking and he kept and he started running because something was chasing after him. Then he dropped his camera and you just hear the footsteps and then the nigga was gone, bro. And they say that the shit is haunted where that you'll hear voices from like the dead or whatever and it will like lead you further into the tunnels yeah. until you get lost. Just like how the I hear noise, so shit is, I bro. hear any noise. I'm I'm going the opposite way. It's clips. That's what I'm saying. And then I heard it's the clips. bro. I heard the police went down there one day to investigate some shit. And they found like a a whole movie setup, like they set they found like chairs, like a whole green, like a whole like white backdrop with like a projector and like bottles and like a bar. And I was like, what the fuck? And they came, they went back up because they was like about to come back down the next day. That shit was all gone, but there was a note that said, "Don't ever come, don't ever try to find us." And I don't know if that was like murderers or fucking like that serial could be killers anything, down there. Anybody? That's some weird shit. I'm like, yo, niggas got a movie. They living life down there, low key though. Niggas Definitely. got movie theater in the catacombs. They just living then down nah, there. That's 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 a different life. That's nah, that's crazy. a different life. That's, that's a crazy, crazy. life. <laughs> that's, that's a crazy, crazy life. Nah, bro. Like niggas probably definitely live under them shits, bro. Like in certain parts, like home, like like with the Las Vegas shit. There's probably some homeless niggas. Probably, that live under yeah. There. But I would not want to live amongst them bones, nah. bro. <laughs> I'm not all them. If there's really that many dead dead bodies, bro. bodies down there, it's just too much. Too much souls in the in yeah, the area. I'm cool. And like Too you seen much. you seen the movie, right? Hmm? Did you did you watch the movie? No. Nah. It's called. I think you'll like it. Cause I know you like scary. It's called As Above, So Below. That shit's crazy. Nah. It, it was I need basically to watch it. it was basically based off of the the guy with the camera shit. I forgot what the nigga name was. Like he was supposed. He was the. I think he was the first person to ever like die in the catacombs. Hmm. And like that movie was basically based off of it. It was like it's like a first person point of view, like people that oh, uh, will go in there, they're trying to find treasure and shit start going left. They start seeing demons, niggas start dying. It was crazy. Oh, bro. I think I might I don't remember. But and we might have watched I can't remember. I feel like we did watch it at like my crib one day. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie though, but um It was crazy, bro. Scary movies definitely ain't been it lately. Nah, I know, right? What, can't remember the last time I was terrified. Like not real, gonna lie, like you watch that smile movie? Um, the one with the uh, I think I did see it. You wasn't scared with that one. Yeah, nah. I mean, it was. It was. I was. I, I be jumpy. So niggas know I be scared. Of I shit. mean, yeah. You know. I mean, I like. I like a good. That's why I like them. I like a good jump scare and stuff. Anything is cool, but like, mm-hmm. I like stuff that has a good jump scare and like makes you think like About damn, the that, like that's some crazy shit. Like that that could actually happen mm-hmm. or whatever. What was the last like? Uh, good scary movie you think you watched? Like, do you remember? Bro, I still stand on that, bro. When I seen the first, that shit was years ago now. But when I seen the uh, the Conjuring, the first Conjuring, nah, yeah, it's still nothing. Key, there's nothing ever scary. That, that was shit was crazy. Yeah. I was gonna say the Evil Dead movie you watched at your crib, but I just think it was scary because it was like four o'clock in the morning. It was yeah. just me and you watching that shit. Yeah, that shit that and it was just mad gory. That was probably, but that Conjuring shit though. Nah, that, that shit's shit was, mad scary. That's one of my favorite <laughs> scary movies. Nah, too. I give like, it. Yeah. I could watch that again if I don't watch that for a minute, and I watch that again. You just think you still be scared? Yeah, I think I still be scared too. Cause like I don't even, I can't remember like the fucking. Yeah, I, don't, I still don't remember the plot. But when I watch it, I'm like, damn. The only scary, the one scary part that I remember was the fucking closet shit. Yeah, when she jumped out. The, <laughs> nah, that shit was crazy. That shit was that crazy. Shit. And that shit was all based off like true stories, bro. Like that's true what events. I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. True story. And that other uh, old scary movie. Uh, Is it The Shining? The, uh, the Strangers. Oh, yeah. That's, nah. That's that top, one that's was top bad. tier. That one could actually happen. That's what I'm real. saying. Like, that shit can... I thought you were going to say The Shining. I heard that's The Shining was pretty That's a good movie, too, scary. though. I never watched The Shining. Is it really that scary? Yeah, it's just, it's just like, creepy, though. Like I said, it's, it's more of an old movie. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So, I mean, them old movies hit. Mm-hmm. But, like, you know, the technology nowadays is... Nah, the movies I'm not is crazy. 
I was about to ask you about that, bro. Like the technology nowadays has been really nuts, bro. Like the you know the Chat GBT shits that's been going on, bro. Yo, I seen some nigga right. There's a new Chat GBT. It's called Chat GBT Four. He asked a, a question. He was like, "What is the quickest way for me to make money?" And it gave him like a step by step plan on how to like open up a business. And he followed that same exact plan. And it was like he only put a hundred dollars into the business. Like he had to invest money into like you know buy shit. He only put a hundred dollars in it. And it, it created a website for him. It created a whole, like, name for the business. It created, like, what he's going to do. He just did everything step by step. Within three days, he made $25,000. Just think about that, bro. No, Literally, yeah, that, that technology, that AI is next level. It's, That's, it creeps me out because have you used the chat GPT for, like, schoolwork and shit? Like, uh, been freaking going you've been, stupid. You've been running up? Been yeah, going type stupid. shit. stupid. Type shit, type shit. You got to at this point. You got to use your resources. And, like, it's crazy because the teachers won't be able to, like, fucking... I mean, it's here for a reason, That's bro. That's what I'm saying. It's but it gets me reason. thinking, if we have access to that, what do the higher-up niggas got access to, for real? And, yeah, like, I, how long was this shit out? Yeah, no, nah, that had to be out for... It, it's probably been out, but like I said, it's it's everything gets more accessible as, as it gets on. more known. Mm-hmm. Just like when Apple first came out. Yeah, yeah. You only had Apple computer or phone if you had bread like that still like that nowadays like phones are thousands of dollars yeah computers are tens of thousands of dollars but shit like that that shit's free bro yeah like what do you think ai technology would be in like the next like think about think about how when we was in high school to now that's about six years you see where we at now imagine from now 10 years from now what do you think ai technology would be that's what i'm saying a lot of jobs already is yeah. Decreasing daily. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. You know, even the the school force, like, bro, everybody loves a good old fashioned t shirt and stuff, but like You bruh, feel like that shit gonna replace teachers, bro? A bot could literally tell you what to do. Like, yeah, that's true. A bot could teach you we like you said we got the AIs that can make a whole plan. Like oh, they could right. have they could probably get rid of teachers soon. Probably still not because everybody still likes they need that. They a good old fashioned teacher and stuff. Mm-hmm. But, um, I feel like the teachers that teach the teachers shit, like, you know, once you go into a job, I feel like there's not going to be a person teaching you how to do your job. I yeah, that's what like I'm be, saying. It could be, it could be a freaking like bot just doing something you need. I feel like eventually, too, we're going to get to a point where, like, niggas that make, like, we're not, like, the people that make movies and shit like that, that do all that shit, I feel like an AI could do that. Yeah. Especially 10 years from now, they'll just do it. You know how quick, you know how many movies are going to be coming out fast if like, one AI could do it in, like, Two three days, bro. Imagine yeah. an AI could create a Avenger style movie, a realistic looking movie, just that, all that within three days, bro. They could probably do that right now. Cause exactly. I'd be bro. seeing all these memes and stuff. You see, they be doing the AI generated pictures and stuff. Yeah, like, they could easily make a movie. That shit crazy, bro. Nah, it is crazy because you could easily f- them AI generated shits look real. They don't look photoshopped. Mm-hmm. I'm 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 just afraid that we're gonna get to a point where. <laughs> Where the AI shit's gonna be too good that we're not gonna know what's real or not. But that's what I'm saying. I feel like it's already like it's already, it's already like that. It's already been past that. Like, but like, there's some there's some defects on it. Like some pictures you could tell like it's not like real. But I feel like 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 the fort like the new Fortnite uh, generator or whatever that shit. Yeah. I heard that like that shit is like next level. Like how that shit looks. That shit looks like bro. Yeah, you be playing. You, don't that yeah, shit? you gotta play, it, bro. I was playing that shit, nigga. The graphics are like fucking. Like, nigga, they're, like, on some Call of Duty shit, my nigga. Like, they're good as fuck. That's what I'm saying, bro. So, like, niggas could, sit, niggas could fake shit on the internet. Pro- well, they're probably going to be faking shit on the internet a lot easier when, like, 10 years from now, the AI still keeps... Uh, bro, it's just so much, like, yeah. It's just it's just getting harder and harder to tell what's fake and what's not. Like exactly. I said, the AI generated... See how they got the voiceovers? Like, bro, Yeah, voiceovers crazy. That's what like, I'm saying, you could, bro make the president sound crazy like they be doing all these famous people voiceovers like yeah bro, it sounds so real bro i heard niggas went into jet chat gbt they said make a playboy cardi song i think i told about this on the pod before. bro you did i seen that yeah. and they did it they did it they did bro it. and he made him sound just like him i'm like yo what Nah, they could do anything like that's like just imagine you're a rapper you don't feel like rapping you don't feel like doing nothing for the day you need but the, but the label wants you to make a song you just go tell the bot, yo, make something with my voice. And they do it in like 10 seconds. That's what I'm saying. I think that 
that thing is gonna blow up though. Like how they be doing them uh voiceovers? The, the virtual concerts. I think that's gonna be the next level thing. Oh like, really? Oh, okay. I I know what you mean. Like nobody damn Because think about it, bro, do you know how many people tuned in to that Travis yeah. shit? Mm-hmm. And it was fucking free money. It was like millions of people, kids. Exactly. It was everybody. And that was on a virtual concert. He got way more people on that than he did at his like, own like, normal all, concert. Like, like on a tour, like off that one shit. That's crazy, bro. That but, right that really might be the new thing. That's scary though. But like, I right, I think do you think this would have like AIs would have been this advanced right now if we never had Cause think um, about it. I feel like once we was in that's when the freaking AI shit started like popping off for real. Cause like niggas was inside, niggas was innovating and shit like that. Mm, yeah, that is a good. Um, niggas had to find new ways to like be outside. Do stuff, yeah. And they made like shit because they had more time to be in the crib. They had more time to be in the crib to think about shit. They had to find ways to make it seem like life was real, even though everything was shut down. And I yeah. feel like I feel like if we never had, it wouldn't be this crazy. You don't think? I, I don't. I don't it, know. I feel like that's kind of quick though. You think like, so? It was kind of quick, like. Well, we was in lockdown for like a year. Yeah, about uh, probably yeah, probably about like a year. But it's like, yo. Nah, I feel like it's been it's been around. It was just probably perfected during COVID, though. Probably because like think about it. What was the like? This was the. I mean, you could say you niggas could say Siri is technically AI, right? That's what I'm saying. So like, yeah, so we probably should been around. Yeah. So it it's just been around. uh perfected and to the public now. Yeah, yeah. So I get what you mean. Damn, that would be scary. And that's the bro. thing, though. Now it's to the public. So it's like people are making their own. Mm-hmm. Bro, this did you see there was a, a a young lady, bro, she made a fucking chat GBT robot that like um she, it, she was doing like a FaceTime thing, but as she was doing like sign language and it reads like the words come up as she was doing the sign language like the, on your screen. Really? Like Yeah, like she it was, was just saying, watching her. No, like it was catching her face, but as she made the the the, the hand sign? signals, yeah. it was like the words were popping up. Really? Yeah. Nah, like, that's, that shit was crazy. Like she made that herself. Though? Like it's yeah, her own she program? made that program. Oh, that's what I'm saying. People are making their own. That's what uh, I'm saying. What well, that shit goes in the wrong hands, my nigga. That's what I'm saying. Hey. She made she made something for good, but you could easily make something for bad. That's like, what I'm saying, bro. You could easily make like like I remember. I think I asked Chat GBT. Like imagine what make you could probably ask it to make like a, a, a language or some cheese. Like imagine not low key. You can make ask a that. language and you teach it to other people and no one knows what you're saying. That's what I'm like, saying. Like I feel like like imagine that should teach you how to make bombs and shit. That's when that's that's when it's going downhill. Like you gotta chill out. <laughs> it probably could do that now. It, I think it lie. could, but like the I mean, people if, who made it, they put restrictions on it. Mm. Like I remember I asked it a question. Like I said, I said I asked him some crazy question. I was like, yo, I was like, is God real? And it was like. As a as an AI technology, I can't I can't answer a question like that. But he didn't say yes or no. He said I can't answer that question. But I guess you don't have the information or you don't got the access to say the question answer. That's what I'm saying. But like like you said, there's somebody that put the the limit on there. What if they just turn the limit off? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> he was about, like, yo, bro. how do I make like, a nuclear explosion to take out the entire that's other side what of I'm the world? Saying. That's he's what like, Yeah, I got you, bro. Just Definitely, bro. Definitely, either the government or the some nigga, some smart ass dude created like a freaking, uh, what's that called? Like an uncensored chat GBT shit that answers everything for him. Just imagine, bro. Literally, cause like that shit knows everything already. It's yeah. not like it don't know. It's just it can't say it. So I'm like, yo, that's freaking scary, my nigga. If that, I'm telling you, somebody's gonna perfect that shit. Somebody, I don't know when. As long as the terrorists don't perfect the shit. <laughs> Oh, that's just scary, I'm bro. I'm gonna be surprised, bro. I robot there's some, back, there's bro. some elite hackers in this world, bro. Elite, bro. Elite, elite that Remember don't work when for they us, freaking bro. Freaking hack the freaking the what? PlayStation shit, bro. That was like one of the biggest hacks. Wait, what they when they hacked the PlayStation shit, bro? You weren't was you there? What year Did was you that? have? It was during like <laughs> PS3 times. Bro. Oh no, I didn't have. You that. Wasn't there? No, nah, I had bro. Xbox. It was a certain time. I don't know how long was it. I don't. I don't think it was more than like a year, bro. These niggas, bro. All the OGs that was on it, PS3. Remember, bro. It was like I don't know if it was a year or a couple months or maybe, bro. The whole like 
PlayStation Network service was down for like months. Like really? these niggas around the world like hacked the shit. Like got into Sony's shit and dead ass like shut it down on some What the fuck? Some hacker stuff. I think they were like threatening to leak they were threatening to leak games or something. What? Really? For Sony. And like you couldn't go online or anything? Bro, you couldn't play online for like months. It was all PS it was only PS three. Really? Xbox was cool. I didn't even they know hacked, that. It was like for months, bro. It was on the news. Them niggas were like all over the world. Like I think one person was like caught in like Europe and then somebody was in like oh, Asia or something. That's cr- see, and those niggas was probably like our age, bro. So yeah, just bro. imagine the forty year old niggas. And that what was doing. years ago, bro. That was PS3, like, That's, I remember it was on the news. I'm like, bro, nah, online has been messed up for months. And on the news one day, it was like, yeah, they finally arrested them. I was like, bro. Nah, shutting down a whole system for months is, I thought you were going to say like a week, bro. That's bruh, crazy. Nah, it was for a minute, though. It was for a minute. They, they probably was, just did that shit for fun, too. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, bro, Come what on, did you bro. even gain from this? Nothing. Literally nothing. They just wanted to do it. Nah, bro, that's scary. See, this that's the shit I'm talking about, bro. There's niggas out here that's really real life evil. If a if a 22, 21 year old could just shut down the PS3 service for six months, just imagine what a 30, 45 year old person that's been studying his whole life could do to the world, bro. That's why, yeah, bro, could take over, bro. That's why I think like like with the with the with the war and shit like that. You've been seeing what's been going on lately with all like Russia and like China and all America and shit. A lot of cheese has been happening. Like I heard, like Russia and China is like. Like uh, they're like allies or some shit like that, and and they're like they're talking about America. There was pe- people saying like, "Yo, they really teaming up against." Yeah, us, I don't think we the biggest country anymore in the world no more, bro. Like I don't think niggas is afraid of us anymore. Cause think about it, Rus- They was talking about Russia has the biggest landmass in the world, China has the largest population in the world, and Russia has all the nuclear weapons. China has all the workers and shit like that. Nigga, I'm not going to war, but they said, think about <laughs> I'm not going to war. I've said this three episodes in a row. I'm not going to shit. It is deep. But for that. It, like, it was really scaring me because like, it really makes sense. But they said that if we ever have a World War Three, it's not going to be how we think it is. Like, because you got to think about it. Every war that we ever had, everything progresses. Mm-hmm. Like, like World War One didn't look like World War Two. Yeah. And like, they say that like World War Three could be something as in like cyber warfare or like mm. nuclear warfare, or even like uh, economic warfare, like how we're going through right now. Yeah, like they said, the war Loki already started. Mm. Like we're just could be could like be. like people like they said. First of all, what they got to do is weaken us. They got to take our money away, lower the value of the dollars, and even like sickness. Like you see, all the freaking water supplies are starting to get contaminated mm-hmm. all around the country, and freaking all the little factories and like the farms is like exploding, and even the um. Even the food, we have a food shortage, my nigga. I didn't even know that. Mm. Like, niggas is like, there's some places that don't have enough food. And, like, a lot of the farms are, like, exploding. Literally exploding. Yeah, nah. Like, I've Stuff seen. Stuff has been going. Like, what the fuck? Chemical the spills? Place. Like, come on, bro. Yeah. This is, this, I feel like this is our warfare already, bro. There's no, there's no way around this shit. This, I'm just praying the nuke don't come this way, bro. The nuke bro, go. I, I just seen something the other day, too. Might have been today or yesterday. It was like, uh, yeah, Russia and China, they started using a new uh, a weapon. No, nah, a new currency. Oh no, no, no! And mad too. other countries about to use that same thing too. So I think, I think the dollar, the U.S. dollar, about to go down in value. See too. that that's not good, bro. Cause that's <laughs> we, not good at all. That's what I'm saying. I don't even know. I don't even know how the U.S. Is worth bread right now. I heard we're in like trillions of debt. Yes, I'm like saying, trillions bro. Of debt. That's why niggas gotta get into war to get money back. But it's like I heard like the whole plan with the world is that they're trying to get everybody on one currency. Yeah, like one like the new world order type of shit. That's impossible though. I'm not gonna lie. But like, think about it. You know how they do it, bro? You gotta scare the people. Mm. You know what they said they're gonna do, bro? You ever what? heard? There's a thing called like Project Blue Beam. They said they, you know, bro. So, look, you know how we was talking about AI technology, right? How it's getting better. Mm-hmm. I seen a video of, like, people at, like, SeaWorld, and they had holographics of, like, whales in the in the air. Whales and dolphins. That shit look real as fuck. So, what they said they're going to do is they're going to use holographics 
to fake an alien invasion on the world. Like, we're going to see all, like, there's going to be destruction. People going to die. But we're not going to see no aliens. We're just going to see, like, the UFOs just shooting shit down. But it's all going to be, like, remember that in the Spider-Man No Way Home? Was mm-hmm. it No Way Home when he was fighting that, that nigga that had the holograms and shit? Oh, I think so. It's going to be just like that. And then we're all going to be scared. And then some higher power is going to come up and save the day. And that's where we're going to be like, oh, now we trust you. Everybody together in one new world order. Supposedly. That's how they, was, they said they're going to do that shit. I don't believe in all that shit. That shit's going to be too... That I feel like that's too movie-like, bro. There's no way niggas is going to fucking... Fake, there's no way niggas can fake an alien invasion unless... Hey, bro. But if it do happen, if I see some shits come down shooting... Yeah, if I see some I'm going to think it's not real now. <laughs> I'm not gonna think it's real now. I'm gonna fuck around and die. Now niggas got me killed. <laughs> niggas got me killed by some bullshit. I told niggas I'm not dying over some bullshit. Now I just died <laughs> over the bullshit. But I don't know. Like the whole new world order shit, bro. That's I didn't know they was doing that with the currencies, my nigga. That's scary. Just imagine everybody. That's in, we like, ain't we ain't about to be worth shit. That's what I'm saying. We ain't about to be worth shit. Hey, bro. We not. I don't know if we at the top of the food chain no more, bro. I think we're just slowly going down. But we're I got just maintaining. Just maintain, like, hey. As long as I, as long as I'm good and living life, still doing podcasts, enjoying my life, <laughs> hanging out with my friends in jail, I'm cool, bro. I don't get fuck. We can be slaves and shit like that. <laughs> but I got a question for you, right? So yep. <laughs> we talking about crisis. Which crisis would you rather have? Would you rather go back in a time period a hundred years from now? So any time period past a hundred years, and be stuck there for a year, or you're the only person with the cure in a zombie apocalypse and you have to try to get to Los Angeles to save the world. Which one would you rather which which one would you rather do? Hmm. So basically you're gonna years, wait. So what do you mean by that? So like you're gonna be stuck in a random time period that's over a hundred years ago. So it's gonna be like it could be like So it could be three hundred years ago. It could be three hundred years ago, four hundred, it could be five hundred million years. But it's a random time period. But it also could be nice. What if I was in slavery? Damn. Hey, I'm not going to lie. You light-skinned, so they're going to be confused with you. <laughs> you they might confuse you slavery with Slavery or zombie apocalypse. Or you're the only person with the cure in a zombie apocalypse, and you have to get to Los Angeles right he, from right here to L.A. I'm and taking the... Uh, with the cure. I'm taking that cure. Uh, you're going to take the cure to Los Angeles, I feel bro? like I have more... I feel like I have more control over my destiny. I feel like... <laughs> 500 million years if it was like 500 million years ago like shit i was one of them motherfucking the cavemen neanderthals yeah. or, i'm a <laughs> i'm a bot my life is my life is but you just gotta survive a year that's it no nah, that's too long I still know, i don't know what's gonna go i don't know what's going on oh uh, see but like as but that is just you by yourself you got how the Wait, fuck does you- everybody does everybody know i have it or is it just me that? Nah, like, like you're like me and like a couple other people. It's like you're like freaking like Will Smith from like I Am Legend. Like you know how he mm. he had the cure. Think about you had the cure for that shit. You gotta get to L. A. and try to get that shit mass produced. How are right, how are this? How are, the, how are the zombies like? Are, if they're like them I Am Legend things, then nah, I'm not nah. doing it. I'll give you I'll give you Walking Dead zombies. But just think about it. there's no there's no like structure no government there still might be people. You might find people along the way to help you and shit. You can tell them, like, I got the cure, but they might fuck around and kill you. And I'm not telling nobody you got the cure. If I die, if I die... <laughs> Everybody dead? It's just dead. You should have just trusted my instinct. I'm <laughs> trusted not, my, my I'm word? not telling you what I have because <laughs> people are just going to take it. There's always going to be that one person that's going to be like, yeah, I'm trying to save my family. Fuck everybody else. <laughs> I know, right? And then just... Do some shit. So mm-hmm. if I die in the process and no one knows I had it, hey, that's y'all fault. That's y'all fault. All y'all that's niggas y'all dead fault. now. I was trying. Yeah, you tried and your hardest. And then y'all robbed me or y'all got me set up or killed. <laughs> and you Or you ain't one to help me. You just left me out there stranded. <laughs> Type shit. Damn. And I guess the world is, guess you just got to trust. You got to trust people. That's, that's the thing. True. You think you could get there to LA, bro? Um, you think you get, think about it. That's like, that's far as fuck. It is far as shit. <laughs> but... I think I'll take that that route. You think you take? I don't route? know what. I don't know where I'm gonna be at in a hundred years. Because you can you could possibly get stuck in like the 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 1900s. I was thinking about that too. There's a possibility. That's like right after slavery. It's still very racist. What if I get drafted to go to World War One or something? Uh yeah, that's true. <laughs> that would be where, terrible. Is there a nice night? Is there a good time period where everybody was pretty normal? Bro, not until like the 50s. <laughs> uh, probably. 
after that, probably like the the seventies, eighties. That's when probably when everything was everything getting, was just shitty. That's why everybody was like hippies and stuff, and Damn, the world was like cool. What the fuck? Everything was so bad. Even, that little time period, yeah. Damn, even medieval times was terrible. Niggas would just die randomly. So I'm saying. Damn, nigga will live to like 27 be like, yo, you old as hell. You, yeah, you about to you die about soon. To die. I'm like, nigga, <laughs> what? Oh, damn, yeah. I think, you know, I think I'm going to try with, with the zombies, bro. Damn, oh, bro. But that's far. Like, are you going to try to find like a car or something? It's, it's going to be hard I'm to find just a gonna car. Be, You're going to have to walk. Be sleeping that's, all over the place. That's a walk, bro. <laughs> You're going like, to be sleeping in every state. Like, yeah. <laughs> Dig, bro. Uh, yeah, I think I'll take, I'll take that one, though. I think Definitely I'll be sure. I'll that. take that one. But... Even in the in the movies, they make it seem so easy, bro. Like they in like do. in the Walking Dead and shit, they make it seem so easy with all that shit. But I know it's not. It's not gonna be anything like. But that. at least it, it prepares me for it, bro. Like, bro. Definitely, I'd be getting ideas. Like, I know what not to do and what to. That's do. That's what I'm saying. Like, I think I remember I was talking about this before with a couple people. I think that movies are like are like ways to ways to portray to the public how life is going to be in a couple of years. Like, it's like, it predetermines how life is. So, like, movies show us things that's going to happen later in life so we're prepared for it. Mm. For example, like a zombie apocalypse and shit like that. If we if we just see zombies randomly without watching the movies and shit like that, not knowing what it is, we'll be like, yo, what the fuck going on? Nah, dead ass. But now, but now, like, we know what zombies are and we see people survive and see people do it, we'll be like, okay, at least we have, we're not going to be, we're going to be like, Type scared though, but like mm-hmm. we're gonna know like what to do. Indeed, you know what I'm saying. But it also makes me think about some of the other like outlandish movies, like like Squid, like the fucking Squid Games and like the Maze Runner. Like it makes me think. Like you ever heard of like you know who uh, Jeffrey Epstein is, bro? Yeah. Like like the Hunger Games. Like imagine Jeffrey Epstein. Imagine he was doing that shit on his island. They had a whole Hunger Games. They could have been doing anything. They could have been doing that. anything on that I, with the kids, bro. Imagine they had a whole game like that. You know, even we don't even know about it, but like they're trying to portray it to us with the movies. Even, even like you ever watch some movies? I think it's called The Hunt. You ever watch that movie? I think so. What is that? The one where they kidnap people and like the rich people hunt them down like oh, animals. Oh yeah, like yeah, I that's heard, some crazy bro, shit. Bro, I yeah. heard an interview by Mike Tyson. They, he said that rich people actually do that shit. No, that's what I'm saying. Rich people. That's what I'm saying. Like they take the homeless people off the street and they put them in like the woods and like they hunt them down, like like for sport. Like, nah. imagine, bro. That's what I'm saying. People be... That's the thing. People be having so much money and stuff. They just, do they just be running out of stuff to do. Like, just be they bored. feel like they've done everything. They just need to start doing some crazy stuff to make their life better. They already got the money to do whatever they want. Mm-hmm. Now they're just doing stuff just to... Just, cause, just to bro. say they did it. That's what I'm saying. And then I think the big one for me that is, like, makes this thing actually kind of, like, make sense is, like... You you know what the Last of Us is, is right? Like the show, the Last of Us, like oh, the video yeah. game, uh-huh. bro. You know you know there's a fungus going around America that's killing people. For real? Yeah. So maybe the Last of Us is something like because if that fungus came out without mm. us watching the show or reminding us of a video game, we would be scared as shit. Nah, nigga, I don't even feel like niggas not even afraid of it. Like there's a actual fungus going around like hospitals in America, and niggas is like for real dying from it. Oh no! Nah. Like I'm like, bro. That's literally what we seen from the fucking TV show, bro. But it's like, if we see it and we see them survive, it's like, ah, right, you know, we could do it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's just it gives niggas confidence, bro. That's just fucking crazy, bro. No, nah, I heard that the actual fungus though, like, is low key real, and I heard it's only like, like it has like three extra steps. Mm-hmm. Like it's only three steps away from like actually being like how it is in the freaking yeah, bro. Um, in the world, even. Yeah. Bro, I heard in Serbia, a scientist found like a zombie virus in the ice, like frozen in the ice, and he activated it, and like that shit's like a living thing, and he sit he he predicts that there's there's like thirteen or fourteen, fifteen different like viruses that is of the same strand that's still locked in the ice. So when that shit melts, on some venom shit, yeah. So he said when that shit melts, that shit's gonna get into our water supplies, and that shit might start some crazy shit. Like it's it's like a virus that actually like attaches to things and like controls it. Shit's like a symbiote, bro. That's yes, venom. Bro. Nigga That's got venom. venom in the ice. <laughs> bro, Spider Man is real low key. I hey. Spider Man is not real, but Venom might be real. Damn. I could, you never know, bro. That's Damn. what I'm saying. That's crazy. That's what I'm saying though. There's mad parts of like the world that's low key just 
uninhabited. Uninhabited, but like, bro, you need to see what the fuck is over there. That what, the world there should not be uninhabited parts of the world. Like, there's eight billion people. Like, there should be one person On every East, every yeah, spot in the world. But that's what I'm saying. I feel like there's certain places that they trying to hide, bro. Like, like, there's mad places in Russia that is like off limits. Yeah, just mad cold places. Like, like, put a like couple you said, it's in cold there, as hell over there. But nigga, a, we got technology to fucking yeah, that's what bring I'm back saying. woolly mammoths and shit. Nigga, we can go to the ice and freaking set up something over there. Exactly, like, bro. Like even Antarctica. I mean, they made a treaty not to, for no pin niggas not to go into Antarctica or certain parts of Antarctica because that shit's huge. That's the biggest is, continent that's in what the world, I'm saying. and nobody lives on that shit. Why? That's mad space. Like that's mad sus, man. Like, come if on, we bro. can live in like the world's hottest, we can live in deserts. We should be able to live in fuck on in the, the ice. ice. That's what I'm saying. Niggas, niggas live in Alaska. Niggas live in Russia. Man. Niggas live in like fuck. Niggas live in like the where the North Pole is up there, that's like what Greenland. I'm like, come on, they can find where a, Santa's at and shit, bro. Like, come on, bro. Like in 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 Canada, it gets to like negative something degrees it Celsius does get every cold. like consistently, bro. Yeah. Like, come on, bro. Like, there's some, like every <laughs> we should be able. There should be no overpopulation in countries. Bro, I seen. It's funny you say that, bro. Shout out freaking Geo, bro. I seen this nigga. Nigga seen a moose, bro. I know. I seen that shit. I was like, bro, <laughs> that shit look big as fuck, bro. Moose is huge, bro. Moose, like, the, I'm not gonna lie. Moose is type scary, yo. Nah, yeah, it's done up. I seen that shit. Uh, I'm gonna act like I didn't see that shit. But that's like an overgrown deer, my nigga. Like overgrown deer, like it's, even, just, it's like a angry horse. That's what angry I just horse think. with antlers. Yeah, like, come basically. On. You think that's more scary than an elk, though? Cause I feel like elks is like 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 deer's on steroids. Nigga, that's yeah, basically nah. a horse. Nah, moose bigger than a damn elk. Oh though. yeah, Fucking yeah. Fucking shits are like size of trucks. And like you ever see like them fighting and like they just be running into shit. Like I remember I was watching a video on like Instagram and there was like a there was like a family and two moose was fighting in the front yard and they they, they was just running into their cars just damaging their cars that's and shit. That's what I'm saying, bro. I'm like, dang, that's so ass. Like, what do you do with them? Well, you just see them breaking your, the hood of your I car. I would be making mad noise to like scare, scare them. Scare them off? <laughs> nah. Like, blow a blow horn or something to get them out of there. Do you think like in certain places, I know, I think, do you think they have like certain like insurances for that? Like your insurance companies could cover like animal damage? <laughs> I hope. I don't even... I mean, it should. I don't should be think a thing. so. In I'm certain areas, it should be a thing. I think that's why they be having them them gun laws in certain so places. You can kill like, yeah, like Alaska. I heard you can have a gun. I know. Yeah, yeah I think you did talk anything. about it. Yeah. But they got like every fucking animal over there. Though I ain't gonna lie. Don't, don't they got fucking moose. They got bears. They do got they have polar bears. Bro, I think they do, bro. It's I know just, they have the. It's little, just deep. They're just like in like the the wilderness. Wilderness. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I heard have, some people be living. They have towns though that's pretty like in the wilderness. Park, yeah. yeah, like I heard like you know the little Kodiak bears, bro. I heard them shits is huge. I heard there's like a there's a there's an island in like Alaska. Like it's not like an island, but it's like you know like a little piece of land that's like over like past the water and shit like that. Yeah, it's like so it's like in like a lake. It's like full of like Kodiak bears, bro. And people go there to hunt them shits. But those are like the big grizzly bears. Yeah, nah, like super fuck, grown no. grizzly bears. I remember Joe Some Rogan open with, season type. Shit. Yes, open season big bears, bro. Like I heard, I think <laughs> hell bears around. Bro, hell no. I remember, I think some nigga went on Joe Rogan podcast. And he was telling a story about him and his friends that went bear hunting, and like they was in the cabins, they was in like their tents, and they were just they heard like rustling. So he went out there, and the nigga just charged at him and jumped on him, and they was like, and he I think either jumped at him or jumped jumped on him or jumped at him, and the nigga thought he was gonna die, bro. Like it was a huge bear, and they got the the shotguns, and they had to shoot that shit. But it even hurt it. It startled him, but he niggas still ran away. Like he didn't die. But I'm like, yo, that nigga was like literally this close to dying, bro. Like he literally like it came out of like the the forest, like the brush, like mad, and he fast as fuck, bro. Bro, it's like <sighs> bears are like dogs, like on steroids. Like nah, bro. I'd be scared of bears, bro. Like that. Like did you say you seen a bear before when you went fishing with your father, bro? Yeah, bro, that was actually... That's type scary, bro. That was actually top-tier freaking scary moments. Really? Like, I've never seen, you know... You see a lot of um, f- friendly animals in the wild, you know? Yeah, that, yeah. That won't really harm you. Mm-hmm. But the first time you see some shit that could, like, actually fuck you up... Yeah. Like, actually do some harm to you, it's like, damn, I can't just be out here. Exactly. Just lacking. Exactly. Like, gotta- I seen that shit, I was like, yeah... Mm-hmm. That's you know it's cool. Niggas think that's why 
you know, little kids love the zoo and stuff. Mm. Till you see them niggas outside the damn habitat, bro. Yeah, no. <laughs> see them in their natural habitat. They oh, are cool. not. They are not what they portray at the zoo, bro. I know. They are not. That's what I'm saying. They try to make it seem all cut, nice and cully. Nah, these niggas will really kill you for real. If they I ever had the chance, shit, bro. I was like, nah, bro. That shit could really fucking if they ever had the chance, us. bro. But I got so I got a question, right? Yeah. Since we talk about animals, so pick two to protect you from the rest. Yes, I have a, sir. So it's either it's so you got one T Rex, twelve tigers, twelve tigers, ten polar bears, fifteen gorillas, fifteen rhinos, thirty crocs, or fifty cobras. Damn, that's some heat. So that's a pick lot of two heat. of those two of those groups of animals to protect you from all the rest of them. Damn boy, wait, you said how many rhinos? That's a lot of fucking fifteen rhinos. rhinos. Damn, 15 rhinos is OP. That's OP. It's hella weight. What do you think you'll pick, bro? Um, honestly, though, damn. Damn, I'm about to pick some cheese. I'm about to cheese. <laughs> I think I'm about up. to pick an OD army, bro. <laughs> I, definitely, I definitely need them bears have to be in there. 10 polar bears is fucking maximum capacity. 10 That's polar the, bears? Polar bear is the biggest bear in the world. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ten of them, maximum size, needs that. Mm-hmm. And then now the last one is is the hard one. Would you go for the T Rex or would you go for the rhinos? I feel like, or the co- Loki, the cobras is a sne- a sleeper. Bro. Yeah, no, nah, that's I was thinking about that. Fifty snakes is low key hella, and With, cobras are big as fuck, and they're venomous. Yeah, one bite they done up, <laughs> but like that shit might not affect them like in that moment that shit might take them a a grip for them to die but still that's the thing Mm. to protect i just all right what protect me in the moment right yeah so like the other animals that you didn't choose are gonna come at you so do you want to fight the t-rex that t-rex bro but my t-rex is big as fuck i ain't gonna lie wait what are the other choices? I might I might take them tigers. That's what I was going to say. I was about to say the 12 tigers. 12 tigers. That's like 20 big ass animals. I ain't tigers is like, t- but I, I, I want to pick the 12 tigers and 10 polar bears, but them rhinos is going to I know the rhinos are just going to run. They just going to run straight run through, through and I'm dead. Shit. That's so what I was I might, thinking about too. I might have to pick the rhinos and either. No, I'm, I'm changing that. Rhinos and the polar bears. And the polar bears? That's cheese. Oh, I feel, all right, you know what? Because I'm a, the freaking they both got armor. They do. They, they both do. got the armor. I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna pick the rhinos and the tigers. The reason why I'm picking the tigers because I feel like the tigers are more agile than polar bears. They are, and they're big as fuck. Aren't they like what ten feet long and shit? Yeah, and they're they're like nine hundred pounds. I feel like tigers. T Rex. That one T Rex. Two maybe. Bro, you damn. send you send like. Four big ass rhinos at his legs. They taking that nigga down. I'm yeah, that's what I'm and saying. And once he's on the floor, he can, he ain't getting back up. And the, he ain't getting a back herd up. of a herd of fifteen rhinos. Oh no, nah, they, they run over him. He's he's clipped. They them niggas is gonna run over the crocodiles. They are gonna stop them crocodiles the fuck out. Oh, if the crocodiles ain't in water, then they low they key have no. That's what no I'm use. saying. They ass. Unless you run into a pit of them, I know. And they all <laughs> jump on you, nah, you're done. Because they do got that strong bite force. Yeah, the cheesy. That's the cheesiest thing about them. But I feel like they force. could they could protect me for a good for a grip. Damn, but oh, fifty cobras they can step on them niggas. That's what I'm saying. I'm just afraid of. I'm just the gorillas. The gorillas low key pussy. Nah, gorillas is getting swept by everybody. Yeah, they get they get fucked up. I'm just afraid of the cro- the polar bears and low key the crocs because there's thirty of them. That's a lot of crocodiles. Nah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. If you if it's like just a field of them, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, if, like they will be on your ass. They go take and down if one a couple bites of my, you, you're done. They gonna take down a couple of my rhinos. Yeah, nah. <laughs> but I just don't want 15 rhinos running at me. Like, there's nothing that could stop that force running at me. You know me. how many thousands of and they got you forgot they got them big ass horns. That's what I'm too. saying. But that shit gonna spear like a, that shit gonna take out all my polar bears. Like, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that shit gonna fuck up my t- my T Rex if I pick that shit. And like the cobras, they got venom, but that shit not gonna take like that shit gonna yeah, take like mad long. I, I don't think it's gonna activate quick. Nah, enough. fuck that, bro. Fuck that shit, bro. And oh, I got another question. So, which one do you think you could? Re- which one you think you could recover recover quicker from? Mm-hmm. A one hundred mile per hour fastball to the chest, ooh, or getting rammed by a raging bull? Oh, fuck that! You know I'm taking that fucking fastball to the chest. You might die. If that shit hit you, you might have like a heart attack. 
<laughs> True. Or it could just break my freaking bones. That's just like like right in the sternum, like right here. Oh damn. That hurts. I'll still rather take that than a fucking Than a bull like what Bro, the- you don't know that shit feels like I heard I nigga, I used to watch them fucking the, them the, bull the shows. Nigga, yeah, they <laughs> nigga said that shit feels like a fucking truck hitting you. I'm not gonna lie. They said oh. it feels like like you're getting hit by a car. That's what some people have said. Jesus. And that's OD. Deal. So you think you can recover faster from the the shit to the chest? I don't know, bro. That you might die. Bro, what if you get a fucking head butted to the chest by a fucking? But there's like, no way you're surviving. But like, if I get hit by the bull, at least that shit's just gonna like knock me in the air. I'm just. Bro, gonna... what if you get punctured by the ant by the freaking? I might get the punctured thing. in my leg. I'll be all right. Nah. What if he runs at you with his head, bro? He runs out. What with if my... you wearing red? Oh yeah, you're done. That's just a myth. <laughs> that's, just, that's just not Bruh. fucking real. Bro, because think about it. Oh, he's just gonna hit me, lift me up, and then maybe like stomp on me a couple of times. I might, I might have a couple of broken bones, but like a, a straight fastball to the chest, not not your ribs, to your, your, like where your heart is, bro. You might have, you might go into cardiac bro, arrest. Niggas buddy. playing the MLB every day, bro. That shit light. Yeah, I know, but like niggas, you know, niggas died. I mean, they got hit in the head. They died. Some nigga in the twenties got hit in the head and died. Yeah. But I mean, like, they don't have their chest pointed towards the plate. I'm talking about you standing like this, right in the chest, bro. Bro, I think I'm still taking that before. Oh, that I'm, shit's going to fucking It's going to kill me. Yeah, definitely, because I'm skinny as fuck. That shit might kill me. <laughs> bro, that, oh. Uh, but, but a bull? No, bro, I'm not taking that shit. You're not taking a bull, bro? Just one flip. You're going to be in the air. You're going to fly for a little bit, land. You might break a collarbone, arm, and then you get to run away. Like, you just run away like this. You can't move your arm and shit. What if he just hits you so hard, he just goes through you? Like, he just runs you over. <laughs> what if like, he, I just evaporate? No, nah, he just, like, runs you over. Like, you <laughs> and don't then go I don't, in the air. And I just, like, I'm getting trampled? Yeah, Damn, that's terrible. Yeah, I think I might die. But, like, they be Everything's doing the race. Like thousands of pounds, bro. But, like, do, do they still do that fuck. shit in, in Spain where they do the running of the bulls? Is that still a thing? Bro, I think so, bro. They be good, bro. They be coming out. Niggas be getting fucked up. They be getting fucked shit. up, they but it's like, they be all right, bro. Nah. They I'm be not, all right, bro. Eating that fastball. You eating that eating fastball? That fastball. All right, bro. All right, bro. Um, freaking, uh, what else I got to talk about? Oh, okay. I got one more would you rather one. So, which one would you rather do? Walk through a hundred yards of a minefield for fifty billion dollars, or Damn. try to outrun a grizzly bear for half a mile for ten billion dollars. So I'm talking about you being chased by a grizzly bear for ten mil- billion, ten billion dollars, and it's only a half a mile. Or try to survive a one hundred yard minefield. <laughs> no, I'm taking that bear. You gotta take wait, the bear. Wait, is it like, is it an area that I can evade? Yeah. Or is it like in a straight open area? Nah, you got you got trees and shit. You just gotta survive so like the half I could mile. Like uh like high type shit. You could, but you just it's not gonna stop getting you until you get that half a mile. All right. Yeah, I'm taking that shit. For for a minefield, and I, I don't know where the mines are, right? Like they're fucking can I see them or uh it's like nah. they're, they're they're pretty scattered, but they you can see a couple, but you might not see all of them. No, I'm not taking that. I'll take the risk with the uh with the, the with, bear. with the bear, I'm gonna be evading. I'm gonna be running full speed. Like, like <laughs> for a half like, a mile, bro. Yeah, I think I'm gonna just run full speed for half a mile. Regardless, I know they faster than me. Nigga, I'm gonna be jumping over trees. You think your adrenaline gonna kick in, bro? Definitely, <laughs> definitely. Cause I'm gonna make that nigga work. <laughs> you gonna make, make that nigga work. work. Like, this is gonna be <laughs> if he does get me. This is gonna this be the gonna hardest be meal the he... hardest meal he ever obtained in his life. <laughs> I'm going to be climbing trees. If I climb the tree, I see him climbing the tree. I'm jumping out the tree. I'm running <laughs> running into caves. I'm running somewhere. You're going to find a way, bro? Yeah. I think I'll take that, too. I, minefields Mine is too crazy. Is crazy. I've seen that movie. It's that movie on Netflix, bro, when... Uh, is that the one where... That it, mine, nigga. Oh, he, wait, when he was stepped on it? He, he stepped on it the up? whole time. <laughs> nigga ended up taking his foot off. And that shit was, was a dead mine. But, like, what would you do in that situation? I'm keeping my foot on there too. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I keep my foot on there too, bro. But it was crazy though because it was hella shit. Like one night, nigga got into like a pack of like fucking like dingoes pulled up on him or some shit, and he had to like <laughs> fight him off, bro, while sitting on the fucking <laughs> thing. Yo, what that the shit would have pissed me off. I would have just been like, all right, bro, just kill me now. Off. Now I would have been like this. 
<laughs> all right, we all die, nigga. Fuck out of here. That's all right, you trying to play with me, bro. nigga? Oh my god, it's just, it was just more of a mental thing. Like that's what I'm saying. How long like, was he stuck on there, bro? It was like, it was like, uh, it was definitely like more than like it was like a day or two. A day or two? And oh then, nah, bro. I guess when he ran out of water or something, he was just decided to be like, fuck it, fuck it. Like his, <laughs> his mind was going crazy. He fought off some animals. Damn, bro. And then he was like, nigga started laughing and shit because he was like, bro. That's time. like a whole time this shit was a dead, bro. bro that's what you got to do, though. I mean, mm-hmm. you walking through. That's, a, that's another thing that's so scary about just warfare. Like, you never know what you're walking on to. You don't know if it's booby trapped. You don't Especially know. Especially in Vietnam, bro. Oh, my God. I know they didn't pick up every there's, one of them traps. There's still stuff in the forest that's still there, still activated, probably. That's what I'm saying. They, like, Super No trap. way them motherfuckers picked up every single trap. Like, you've you seen can't. the Did you see the traps they do, bro? Yeah, like bro. the ones where it's like you step in and it's like spikes get your foot, or you step in and it's like a hole full it's of really like brutal spikes. stuff. Yeah, that's some sick shit, bro. No wonder we lost that shit, bro. I would not want to go back. <laughs> that's some evil shit, bro. Like, come on, you really you're not gonna shoot me? You gonna have me die like this again? Are dying, smart, bro. T- that is type. Like they, they was living underground and shit like that. Like I heard they had like little like cave systems. That's where they built the shit. And, like, you can see, like, there, there's, like, a doorway, and that's where the fucking niggas fell in, bro. Nah, that war was really crazy, though. My mm-hmm. freaking uh, grandfather was in that shit. He said that shit was hella crazy. Oh, really? Yeah. What was he? Was he, like, on the ground, or, what? like, what did he do? Yeah, he was infantry. Like, oh, really? He's seen mad people get, like, done up and stuff. Yeah, Damn. Yeah. Is that from your, your, your dad's that's dad? That's my dad's dad, oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Damn, that's, that's why cr- he be freaking elevated and stuff. Because he said, niggas be making jokes. About Jason and stuff, but he, nah, he really be having that PTSD at night. I can imagine type though. shit. So that's why he just be. That's when staying I Bronx, elevated right? and stuff. Yeah, yeah, I get you. I mean, you, I mean, seeing all that shit is type crazy, bro. Yeah, he say he still be getting like freaking, like nightmares and shit. Yeah, super flashbacks and just that should be ass. He said. How long was he in there for? Shit, yeah. it was like uh, what? How long was that shit? It's probably. Let me see. Let me see how long the Vietnam War was. Was it a couple years? Probably like three. I think um, he was in it for like a year and some change, but he said it was just crazy time. Like that, it was it was twenty years. So nineteen fifty five to nineteen seventy five. Oh yeah, it was a man. Uh, I think he was in it for probably some time. Was he in it like at the beginning couple, or towards the end? Um. Uh, Probably low key like middle like towards middle? end because mm. yeah yeah because my dad was you said nineteen yeah because my yeah towards the end because my dad was born like what right the? right before the seventies my dad was born oh, okay like, okay I think okay dad was born sixty nine yeah damn so he was killing niggas bro I don't know but he said he told me like he freaking shot his gun a couple times and he didn't even. He didn't, cause I ain't gonna lie. I think he was like he low key. I think he had no choice. He like he, like he didn't want to go, and they still forced him. Oh, like like drafted him. Yeah, type uh, shit. Nah. I think I think, but cause he told me he didn't. Told me he wanted to leave. He he seen mad people get done up and stuff. I would want, bro, I'm not go, I'm not going. I'm going to jail. Hey, bro. Especially during them times too. You know, it was still racist as fuck. Yeah, I'm I'm cool. Fuck it, bro. I'm gone. Like now, if they if they draft me in the war, send me send me somewhere. I'm going. I'm going to the, I'm going to the Philippines, bro. Y'all not catching me, my nigga. I'm going. I'm going to Canada. Y'all not finding me. Fuck y'all. No, I'm not finding, I'm not finding for y'all niggas. Fuck hell no. Y'all not nah hell. And they gonna put me in the front? No. I'm That's what I'm saying, bro. Or I'm gonna act like I'm deranged. I'm a, I'm gonna fail that test on purpose. Fuck that shit, bro. Nah, I didn't know. I didn't know your grand. I didn't know that though. That's crazy. Yeah, bro. Oh no, that's nuts, bro. So I'd be trying to chill with him and see him as much. That's cool though. Yeah. He'd be telling like war stories and shit, like how Mr. Zoroka did when we was in um element in a middle school. Yeah, he's telling me he'd be telling me some crazy stuff. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'd be like, damn. I think that's where Mr. Zoroka damn. fought in either either the Vietnam War or, the, or World War Two because he's told me no, it was World War Two. No, nah, it has to be World War Two. That nigga he was, was old, old as fuck. As fuck. He was I'm old as fuck. And he used to t- remember he used to say like the motherfuckers was in the trees and shit. 
I will never forget that nigga's stories, bro. Rest in peace, that man, Mrs. Oroka, bro. Remember he came into the fucking school, like, all beat up and shit? I was shit? about to say, bro. I'm like, bro, what, what is good with niggas? Like, like they fucking, like, I heard, like, niggas from the high school, like, jumped them. And like crazy. and then and like robbed him. Like he came in with like bandage. I felt so bad. I remember bad. that. And I'm he still more... came to work, bro. Yeah, nah. I respected that guy, bro. Even though even, I don't know why niggas didn't like him, bro. He was cool people. I mean, he used to just tell us nice stories all the time. You didn't even have to pay attention. Like he's just an old man. Like he literally just, bro, like just trying to get kids by. Kids just, especially high school kids, they just disrespectful and stuff. You know, they don't really have no. Like uh, no morals and stuff. They don't really be caring, like especially. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. Especially I don't know now. how a lot of these kids don't be raised. They just be, they just, just be kids. I'm just not be gonna kids, lie, bro. That's kids so be sad, raising bro. themselves. That's so sad, bro. Like, like how? Like I remember Libby be telling me about the high school. Like I, the high school is not how it used to be, bro. Like it's a lot better. Like does Aaron ever tell you shit about the high school? How it is, bro? Yeah, he said that shit is freaking ass is crazy sometimes. Mm-hmm. Like they. Like it's not like how it used yeah, to be when we not. was in there, bro. Like a lot of ki- a lot of people been really just like a lot of these kids. Like this new generation of kids is pretty bad, bro. I think they look yeah. at the niggas from like the Bronx and shit like that. They think that's how kids are supposed to act, bro. I seen that because I was I told you I was watching the podcast. I was watching uh, Ty's episode and I heard he's that story he said. About, oh yeah, yeah, about the kid. I was like, yo, that's crazy. But I did I have been hearing hella crazy stuff. That's been going on at the high school. Like, what? Niggas is fighting, like, West Side Story with the shanks yeah, and like, bats? Like, come on, bro. That's crazy. What is good with niggas? Like, why does niggas want to be a at part Union of that? Union High School is crazy. Like, you know, crazy. Union, you know unions rank, like, like, the top 10, like, most, like, best places to want to live in New Jersey now? Do y'all see, like, where does that list come from? Do they see what's going on in the high school? No, don't bring no more <laughs> people here. We don't deserve that shit. <laughs> Fuck that. Hell no. But like I said, too, we live in that area, too. I just feel like it's a lot of people, you know. Um, like I said, Union is a nice town, but it's surrounded by it's a, a bunch of other, other towns that's really like that. And a lot of people, you know, they move. Yeah. I feel like I feel like when niggas get out the hood, they move to Union. Literally. That's literally. <laughs> this is like that's the That's literally a lot bro. of people, you know. Everybody's mostly our families and stuff, you know. Yeah. They parents probably came from. All surrounding towns and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. a, like freaking, like we're literally in between like the white people and the hood. Yeah. Like literally perfectly in between. Like if you go, if you keep going down Morris Ave, you can go to Milburn, Springfield, Summit. But mm-hmm. if you go another, if you make a right, you might be in Irvington. You make a left, you might be in Elizabeth. You might be in Hillside. Like we're really like in the middle of all the nice stuff. Everything. Which is, I guess it has its perks. It's kind of nice and stuff So like I'm that. saying is, I guess the real only thing I will say about Union is pretty diverse. Like, yeah, it's pretty like, like that's really the work. only thing that's that's I guess lit over here. Exactly, There's nothing really to do. We never really had to like experience like different races, like or yeah. not different races. One side, like like just that's what I'm people. saying. People just be going to certain. Like I remember, I used to go visit my freaking cousins and oh, stuff. Oh, the ones in uh, Long Island, right? Yeah, bro, and it's just like, yeah, mad freaking one race of people and shit, and then mm-hmm. when they be seeing somebody else, it's like, wow. Exactly. Like, like nigga, go outside, bro. Like, like, like when we was in, like, when we went to Jay's game today, it was me, me, Fritz, uh, Chris, and UJ, mm-hmm. and they played in, they played a team called Holy Family, and it was in, it was in Philly, but it was outside of Philly, like West Philly. Mm. So literally a town right out of Philly and it was so nice. Like I'm talking about like bi- every house is big. Like every house got like acres of land and shit like mm. that. Mm-hmm. And I remember some white guy came up to us. He was talking to us. He was like, yeah, he's like, Oh, where are you guys from? You guys from New York? He was like, no, we're from North, New Jersey. He was like North Jersey. Right. I was like, yeah. I'm like, does it like, is it that obvious? I guess. But he was, he was just talking, he was just talking to us about like the food and shit that I was eating. Cause we had canes. And then when he left, he was like, all right, uh, see you guys. He's like, just one more thing. The people around here is is assholes. I'm like, why would he like? Why would he say that to us? Like, what is the point? Like, you mean like they racist or something like that? Like, probably. I could like, but because they were all white. But I mean, I guess so. Like, you really have to, especially like when we go to uh, North Carolina. I told you, bro. You got what's, what's them what's them shits? What's that called? Uh, uh, them sundown sun, towns. Sun, sundown towns, bro. I'm not fucking with none of that shit. We gotta be careful. Yeah, we taking a road trip, so a couple in a couple of episodes, you might see us in the new vicinity. You know what I'm saying? Type shit. Type shit, but them sun nah sundown towns, bro. That's kind of, that's type crazy, bro. I don't know, bro. But 
We could cool see, bro. It's gonna be fun though. I can't wait. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna indeed. be good time. Good indeed. vibes. Good vibes. But oh, I got I got one more story to tell you, brother. Yeah. So, uh, so we was talking about like you know animals and shit like that and like mm-hmm. the oceans. Do you think that there's something? Let me not ask the question. I mean, let me tell you the story first. Yep. So supposedly in 2003, right? You know how when they tag sharks. Yeah. You know, so they tag sharks to like see like their like their swimming patterns and yeah, like see, see what their, the fuck they get into. Type yeah, shit. and their vitals and shit like that. So supposedly in two, 2003, they tagged a nine foot shark, mm-hmm. and they seen that the shark went from they went the shark was on like a different path and it went 1900 feet below the sea level mm-hmm. somehow. And they think that it got taken and dragged to the bottom of the ocean and eaten by something. So, but people thought it was like another big shark, like maybe like a 20 footer, not a 20 footer, like something like 15 footer or like an orca mm-hmm. whale brought it down. But the the tag was still in, like was still working mm. and it was in the, the shit's stomach. And they said that the stomach lining was 78 degrees. And like, it's not possible for like a shark or like a orca whale to have a stomach that hot. So it had to be something like huge. And niggas think like it was like some sea monster, something that that took that shark and killed it and ate it like whole, like either like some megalodon shit or some niggas thought it was like think it was like a giant squid. Bruh, that's one thing that I really still highly believe in because, you know, they say that's the most freaking they say, how do we know more about space than the ocean than the ocean? And, you know, they've been to the bottom. Like they send stuff all the way down to the bottom, and there's still stuff living mm-hmm. all the way at the bottom, all bottom, the way at bottom, the bottom, where the pressure is like maximum nine thousand million. That's what I'm saying, and it's so dark down like there. Like if we was to go down there, our body would probably like disintegrate. Exactly, we wasn't we'll literally explode. Literally, bro. yeah. So like, like there might be some big shit. Something down giant. There. I definitely believe in giant fucking like like sharks or something. Or like a giant fish? like kraken or squid. I definitely nah, believe. Nah, like I can, I can believe a giant squid. A giant squid. You think megalodon could be real? Like maybe one could have survived over these years and just started repopulating? Mm. But like that's a lot of food they got to eat though. Yeah, and that shit's kind of big as fuck. Like I feel like we would see, you we'll know. We'll see something. I we mean, would see like whales bitten in half or some shit. I mean, I've seen, I've seen like a video of like, you know, the oil rigs. Mm-hmm. They had a camera under the water, and like you could see like this big ass shark, like it's huge. Like that shit was going through the camera for a good like three, four, five seconds mm. until it reached that. That's how that's how big that shit was. There probably is some big sharks, but I don't think like a megalodon. No. You think? I like, think like some weird ass looking shit. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, probably some so. weird ass dinosaur looking shark. Yeah, I could I could believe that. Like I could I could believe like a big ass squid. That's nah, just a giant down squid. There. That's the thing. I'm I'm fucking this. Afraid of fucking giant squids, bro. Them shits is huge, bro. Them niggas are smart. Them and octopuses, exactly. Oh, if there was a giant octopus, nah, the we world did. would be over. Cause them <laughs> niggas are smart, like the niggas. Can this is, I heard flies, they're one bro. of the smartest animals besides, like you know, us humans. Mm-hmm. They're I think one they're of the like, smartest. I think they're like number two, bro. I seen one like dreaming, like it was sleep and it was dreaming. Really? And they could tell because nigga, like. It's like brain was like pulsating. Uh-huh. Nigga, it was changing colors. Based like, on, oh, that's, see, that's. Like, crazy. it was like changing colors as it was like breathing. Like, it was like vibrating. Shit was changing colors. And they wow, said it was. Nuts. They put something on it to like read it, his brain. Nigga said it was dreaming. What the fuck is he dreaming about? Imagine, like, what the fuck? That's what I'm saying. Animals could dream, like. That's crazy. Nigga, smart as fuck. Imagine if that shit was like 100 feet long. Yeah. His I, brain. Probably be like a supercomputer or some shit. I'm not shit. gonna lie, low key, like if it, like if a hundred foot like squid croc or squid or like octopus is that big, that shit probably is smart enough to hide itself from people. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that That's shit why could be smart enough like to camouflage itself from people. Like it you knows really to see never it. go, never go into the light. That's why it stays at the the bottoms of the depth. That's what I'm saying. Damn, bro. I, that's why I'm afraid of the ocean, bro. I feel like I feel like the ocean is like really like space type shit. Like think about yeah, it. Like, think about that's it. That's really like, that's really the only thing that's really scary about it. It's just like there's so much unknown. Exactly. Like you like, don't know what's around you. Exactly. Like, like think about it like this. Like you know, like this. Imagine this is land, and like you know, space is up here, and like the oceans down here. And if you just flip it around, it's the same shit. Like if you go so high into space, like the air pressure is like that's higher. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's the same thing. The, the air pressure. 
Uh, but that's the thing, though. I feel like if everybody knew what's in the ocean, like Nobody they knew every in and out, nah, they would they wouldn't be as scared. Like people oh, wouldn't so? be scared. Mm. I feel like too. Another thing, if there wasn't nothing that lived in the water, niggas would be good. Yeah, that's true. Like if there was nothing in the water, it was just straight water. Like mm-hmm. just straight water. I feel like I mean, yeah, niggas I, would be good. Yeah, I think that would be straight. But too. niggas don't be knowing <laughs> what's in the water, especially with, in the trench, bro. That Mariana Trench, you know, bro, you could fit like. They say you feel like a couple Empire State buildings. Yes, bro, that, that shit is That's huge, bro. Fuck. Just That's imagine deep as fuck. what the fuck is down there. Like what? Is, like what could possibly? Like, have we ever been to the bottom? Like touched the bottom? Uh, or have they just been? We saying that? haven't, but I think they've sent like computers down there. But like, like they sent like a like a like a robot to touch the bottom. Like what? That shit's like yeah, endless. I think so. Like that? What, what's like? Imagine you. <laughs> that shit must be scary as shit. Like just like does that shit just look like a big ass hole? Like when you're like, like say you're like scuba diving or some shit like that. Like if you're yeah, at the top, yeah, bro. Like I be looking at that shit. Like that shit is so dark. Like, nah, bro. Like you never seen a, a darkness until you really uh go all the way in the ocean. Yeah, like it's just like light doesn't even, light doesn't penetrate nothing. That's why all the fish down there either got some weird looking shit going on, or mm-hmm. a lot of fish. Don't even have eyes. They yeah, no, just yeah, they sense stuff. Yeah, that's true. They like, got mad sensors. Like, I mean, them niggas don't even fucking need eyes, low key. Bro. That's what I'm saying. Oh, that's nuts, bro. I, I see. That's what I'm saying. <clears throat> uh, I remember how, because I remember one time when I went on the cruise, I'm like, damn, I've been going to the beach forever and stuff. But when I was out there on the cruise, you really see how dark yeah, that shit bro. gets in the middle of the ocean. Like, yeah, bro. Pitch, even with the fucking. The moon could be full moon. It could be a colorful moon. You can't still see be shit, dark bro. as fuck. <clears throat> you still can't. be dark as fuck. That's why. That's why when we go on the cruise like this summer, I, I can't wait to experience that. I'm low key could be scared as shit. And I heard like I know I know niggas like my dad's big fear like when we're going on the cruise like if it is him falling off. But I think they have sensors on the boat. Nah, now. they do. Like okay. I remember when I went, I was like, damn, this is some crazy. But the technology, like I said, technology is so crazy nowadays. Like, like they have technology like. They have sensors. Like if somebody falls off, they know there's like a a thing. There's sensors that goes off and like everything. There's a whole procedure. Okay, that's smart. Now. And everything, but nah, it's very it's very lit too. What the cruise? Like you shit? really don't. Even when that shit's moving, like you really don't feel. Like on like you're on the fucking cruise. Yeah, when it first starts off going, yeah, you're like, whoa, it's moving a little bit, but once you get used to it, that shit is. Next level, bro. It's literally like, uh, it feels like it's like a city on the water. Like that shit is big as fuck. Like I can't wait, bro. This is my first cruise. I'm excited, bro. Nah, that shit's gonna be lit. It's gonna bro. be tough. But you got anything else you want to talk about, my brother? Are you straight? Nah, for bro. That was some good. <laughs> that was good that was potting, bro. That was yeah, some good potting. Thank you again for pulling up, my dude. Okay. No so thank y'all again for tuning in for another episode of No Records Podcast. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. All that good stuff. Comment down below. Uh, follow all our socials. Almost at four hundred twenty thousand on TikTok and shit like that. Follow us on Instagram as well. We almost at twenty five hundred followers on TikTok or on Instagram. Twenty five hundred. Yes, Instagram. sir. Uh, new, new merch coming out soon. We got some new hoodies coming out. It's our, it's trying them out. The shit is fire, right? Yeah. New zip up hoodies. I'm probably gonna in. probably gonna drop them maybe. Uh, I think maybe in like two weeks, probably in between like April and shit like that. Valid. So. And then join the Discord if you want some discounts on the hoodies and shit like that. People in the Discord, all I think we got like we got mad niggas. We got like a hundred niggas in that bitch. Lit. All my niggas Lit. in the Discord. We got got some special shit for y'all for joining and talking to the guys and shit like that. But yeah, thank y'all for tuning in. We different than regular no regulars, man. Gangsta. I'm going to go get it. Yeah. I'm going to go get it. Yeah. I'm going to go get it.